Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Conrad? How's it going? Good, good. How are you, Tim? Uh, you know what? Not too bad, but not too good either. The second yeah. shot, it's true. It does mess you up a little bit more. So, whereas the first time I didn't take the Tylenol, this time I was like, you know what? <sighs> My temperature started going up. So I took a Tylenol and it knocked me out for like four hours. You know, I was gonna I was gonna write an article for for timwright.com and then I was like, ah, you know, I'm feeling sleepy. <laughs> so you uh you actually took a nap? Yeah, I took a four hour nap. Uh and it kind of revitalized me. I was pretty I was feeling pretty pretty bad. Well, you went to bed pretty late as well. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, yesterday like we yeah. were scheming. Yeah, that was not good. That was not good, man. <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> yesterday it was bad, bad. But I think you know what? Like, no regrets, no regrets because uh, I think we got through a lot of progress towards the future of the channel. I think that's what's that's what's really important. Uh, let's just see it. Ryan Singer upvoted. Thank you so much. Yellow raincoat. Hello, Timothy fans. Hello. Perth Luxury. I have some good news coming up for members of Tim's Discord chat. Details to appear in the show. Ooh. Now, I, I asked Perth Luxury to try to work out a deal with uh, the Mirage watch rolls. Uh, I guess CEO. I think he, does he know him? He contacted him, and uh, it feels it. It seems like they really hit it off. Uh, so uh, it will be interesting to know uh, what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen with that? Also, JC upvoted. Thank you so much, Kulifian. Thank you to vote. By the way, didn't turn on. Didn't forget to turn on the music this time. It's uh. Sometimes there are good days. Sometimes there are bad days. Hope you feel better soon, dude. Yeah, Jimmy, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm feeling a lot better. REG, Tim, I'm going. Uh, oh, I'm going to watch tonight. Been a long week of work. It's. Uh, it sounds. Uh, the five G satellites are <laughs> calibrating for you, anyways. <laughs> yeah, man. I. I think that's the. That's. It. They say that's. That's what you feel kind of weak because the microchip kicks in uh and uh yeah that's that's what makes you uh, feel so woozy uh Perth luxury tim i'm going to post an exclusive discount for mirage roll uh, rolls in our members only discord members equal access to perks exactly guys if you're not a member yet uh check it out check it out it's only like four dollars per month and we ha we have built quite an interesting community in there. Um, there's there's just there's so much going on. Uh, you can ask for advice. We got we have uh, wristwatch checks. We uh, we have uh, like outdoors EDC. Everything 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 is on the Discord. Quite an amazing quite an amazing community. One bone for life. Can you even get a watch off the Rolex website? No, you can't. This is just the website. That's that's the really misleading thing about the the Rolex website. I don't actually, I don't think any of these watch brands sell their watches through the website, right? Um, no, some of them do. Um, I believe you can buy Omegas off the really? website. Yeah, let's see. Let's try. Let's try to buy an Omega through the website. And uh, Cartier, you can as well. What? They do just ship it to you in the box? Yeah. Interesting. Let's see. Discover collection. Oh. You know, these Seamasters, they're not that bad. Like in the pictures, I mean. In the pictures, the Seamasters look, look amazing. Let's see it. This fully blacked out one. Contact boutique. Oh, okay. Let's go for the basic one. 
you know, they make these really complex. Oh, add to the basket. You're right. Yeah. Look at this. Add to basket. Now, uh, is that is that like even uh, uh, like in some ways I think they're they're undermining the ads, right? When when you when you sell watches on the website as well, right? Oh look at this! Yeah, you can buy it. You guys, you can buy a Seamaster off the website, I and mean, it's full whack. So no no discounts. So it, I don't think it's it's worth buying it from the website. But you can do it. You can do it. And ooh, AMG has became a staff writer. AMG, welcome to the Discord. Wow. Sorry, I'm I'm a little, I'm a little tired today from, from the vaccine, but I really appreciate your support. Uh just uh on your membership thing, just click. There is a button, there's a little triangle. It will uh it will if when you click the triangle, I think it drops down and you can see the Discord link in there. If you if you're having trouble, just email me and uh, I'll help you out. Or 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 go on the, on my website. There is also a contact form. So thank you so much for your contribution. What? And climb pharmacist Tim, if you could have just one watch from your collection, which would you keep? You know, the thing the thing with which one I would keep, wow, this is such a complicated question. I think it would have to be uh, the panda. I, I just I just I feel like I'm obligated to keep the panda because it was the watch that I went to buy my first Rolex. I opened their website and it was the the white Daytona was displayed like 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 the way this Explorer 2 is being displayed uh in the same way they, the the Daytona was displayed and I fell in love with that watch and I thought I can just go to the, <laughs> I thought I could just walk in the door and pick it up but as things uh, things turned out to be more complicated than it seemed uh, so when when I went out to buy it, uh, I was I was told that you know that the only way to do it at the time was to purchase something else, and yeah, I had to I had to get the sub I had to settle for the Submariner, which is I still have. Uh, let's see. So this was my first. Let's see. Like this. this is my first watch. By the way, ooh, what's going on? Okay. That's the first sub. I could have got the Hulk, of course. Uh, I was offered, right? Like they they gave me an option of three watches: the Batman, the Hulk, or this uh, Explorer. Oh, uh, sorry, or this Submariner Date. I went with the Submariner Date because it was just the most, you know, the most useful, like mo the the one the watch you can use every day. Uh, yeah. And then I got the Explorer 2 because Archie kept spruiking it. And uh, I thought, oh, that could be a good a good combo meal deal. I was still like, I, I still didn't like the Batman because I felt like the case shape was the same. Um, and the, I, the, so the, the, the size never bothered you, hey, with the Explorer 2? No, in fact, uh, the size I actually liked better. It, it felt like flat, like... The thing is with the with the Explorer 2, it actually wears better than the Submariner for some reason. It, it's just it's flatter. Mm -hmm. now, there's no the the Submariner, it's a little bit taller because uh the bezel uh it kind of goes up on the on the Submariner, whereas on the Explorer 2, the bezel, as you can see in even in this picture, it, it's kind of it goes down, it's flatter. And I think the sub is a thicker watch. Uh, I, you know what? It might be. It might be. And it's got the sharp, the sharp bezel, the teeth, the teeth, the that you can get. You can you you really can dig your uh, fingers into to to play with the fidget spinner. 
yeah, but it, very comfortable, very comfortable. And then I was finally able to get the the Daytona and that, you, that I sought after. You got the uh, the wife yacht master first. Yes, yes, yes. So it was like we bought three watches. I got first. I got my my Submariner. Then I got the Explorer two. Then my wife got the Yacht Master. And and all three of those were under retail, right? Going under retail. Um. When you yes, bought them. At, during the time of purchase, they were. Actually, so the sub was going, I think, like a very little, like five hundred dollars on the retail. Uh, the because because at that time, like I, I was just started listening to Archie, and he was saying, "Well, like the only watch that's worth buying at retail would be Rolex," and I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Uh, but uh, I did check that there was a lot of used, like used watches. Because because I was selling my uh what's it called my my tutor no no not the tutor tag Heuer. I was selling my tag Heuer. and I put it into Hodinki and I put how much I bought it for which was two thousand three hundred and on Hodinki at that time you could buy that watch for a thousand three hundred and I thought whoa it's a fifty percent loss my God and. Uh, and then I remember kind of a couple of weeks later uh, doing kind of research. Uh, do I go for Black Bay or do I go for uh, another or do I go for Sub? Or then do I go for Tudor or can I just get the, another Tag Heuer, the Aqua Racer? I really like the Aqua Racer. But then I, I remember there was a guy who was doing a review of an Aqua Racer with a yellow uh like uh hi like highlights like the the, the second hand was yellow accent colors yeah yeah so, yeah yeah yellow accents and i remember he was he opened it up and it had a plastic insert ah nasty was ghastly it was so ghastly <laughs> i couldn't believe it i was like <gasps> <laughs> forget about this and then th that's why I, I i was like forget about the black bay let's just skip all of this like, get the like that plastic uh scared me so much i was like <sighs> bad uh so tim i have another question for you mm. when you originally got the sub do you know what the daytona was trading trading at no no i did not and then I and then when you ended up actually getting the Daytona, what how much it was going over retail at that time? I think so. What happened was, um, I I believe what happened was when I came back home with the sub, right? I came back home with the sub because they said there was no way they're gonna sell it to me, right? But they can put me on the list for the Daytona if I buy something else, right? And I do remember, so a sub was uh, like a, it was on my mind because of, because watching all those videos, right? But I, 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 I didn't know what was the price. Was. I just knew the retail price. And so when I went to, to get like a Rolex, you know, I opened up, the the way because I needed to check like what 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 do I get and uh when I opened it up I was like oh my god and I, I remember I didn't even know it was a Daytona right I didn't even know that uh the that it was called the Daytona the watch I just it just looked like a chronograph and you know you know part of the reason here's the thing I I even let, let me show you something I think I still have the picture and because it, it must have it must have been just released I I, I 20, really wanted the chronograph. I really want the chronograph. And I almost, oh my God, I almost bought. So this this is the crazy thing. My my tag Heuer stopped working, right? And well, it didn't stop working. It started going absolutely batshit insane. Uh, like the second hand started going crazy. It was going five minutes fast every day. And I remember going to fix it, right? And I was checking uh, different... Uh, like what other watch I can get? And I remember seeing this tag Hoyer 
Hold on. If I can, if I can bring it up, it was a chronograph, and I remember really liking the chronograph. And that's why when uh, Archie was saying like the, the Rolex is the only watch uh, worth uh, picking up, uh, I, I uh, like start. I was started thinking, you know, some kind of a like a some kind of a diver's watch. But when I checked the website, I really fell in love with the with the Daytona. I didn't even know it was a Daytona. Let me show you if I can find yeah. it real quick. It was I think that's time. a I think that's common where uh beginners come in and they are attracted to the look of chronographs yeah oh my god if uh, and i have a picture of that ghastly thing that i almost i almost went for this watch and i remember thinking like why would somebody buy a diver why like i was gonna go for like aqua racer right and then i remember why would somebody buy the aqua racer if they can get an aqua racer chronograph like what isn't that like way better and then when I saw the Daytona, I was like, oh, shit, that's the watch for me. And, and then I remember being told, hey, you're crazy. You're crazy. That's not how it works in the re in the real world. You know, I think it's in my Google Photos. Uh, Logan Hall, fuck me dead, offered Batman sub or hog the first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The good old days. Oh, man, those. Those were the days, uh, but like in retrospect, in, in actually, I think at that time the Hulks were going for less than uh, for less than Black Submariners, like secondary market wise. I think that was that was the insane where nobody wanted the nobody wanted the Hulk. I didn't well, want it I'll, because what a green watch? What? Well, how? What am I gonna? The, it's such a specific color. What am I gonna do with it? Think about it. Like think about price and hype aside, right? Why? What's going on? My internet is glitching. Huh. Oh, okay. Price. Oh man, I just want to find this image for you guys. That was so crazy. It was so ghastly that, jeez. But what's what's interesting? I still had two, like like I think two weeks of warranty left on my uh, Tag Heuer, and they still serviced it for me. So that that was nice. So what you had it for three years? I think I had it for two years. Two years. Yeah, mm -hmm. two years. And I never worried because I was wearing my Apple Watch. And then, and then when I when I tried to wear it finally, when my Apple Watch died, because that's that's kind of like what the how long these Apple watches last. Oh, oh shit! Frank, Frank is asking, when was the exact moment the Rolex and steel paddock craze began? Um, I think it was actually with the release of the ceramic Daytona. I no, think that I mean, might have been the start. No, no, no. I mean, Daytonas were always going over retail, but I think, oh, by the way, I think the Daytona, when I uh, saw it, right, when I, the first time that I saw it, uh, it was going for 17,000 used. Right, so it was going like five thousand over. Yeah, retail. and and I'll tell you, Tim, that is what it started at when it was announced. Okay. Because there you you, you it, it was it, it came out in twenty sixteen. Yeah. Mid mid year, I believe. Okay. And you must have been in you know that that must have been when you got your your uh your sub. Yeah, something right? like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. funny. I I read an article. Uh, I think from Hadinki, mm -hmm. um, it, it, it was the, it was the, uh, uh, the Basel world article for the announcement of the ceramic Daytona, the Panda. Mm. And it was funny in the article. It said that, Oh, it seems like these watches will be, um, immediately a one year wait. Wow. Which is funny. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's nothing. Crazy. It's nothing compared to today. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Imagine complaining about a one year wait. Uh, I can't find it. I'll, I'll try. I'll try to find it uh, so, some other time. But oh, we got Tony Nico cream cheese. Oh wait, Marcus here. Oh hey boys. Uh, I'll be on shortly. Tim making myself a bagel with smoked salmon. Cla the New York classic. Why is my camera not working? This is the question. How come my camera is not working? I think I'm really I'm being fuzzy. Yeah, turn this off. Because I have the icon right now that shows that I have really poor connection to the internet. Maybe it's because Omega is gl is glitching me. Let's see. Let me turn off the Omega website. What's happening? Uh, like I'm in the potato camera mode right now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Omega's website was very poorly optimized mm. and it <laughs> took up all of your <laughs> processing <laughs> power. This is weird. Okay, I'm gonna disable that. Clean. Just, just, just. I need to optimize my other thing. Perth luxury two dollars shows Nando's South Africa dictator advert. Please. <sighs> Shoot. Uh, let's check it out. I guess. So, just to answer Frank's question, I yeah. believe the bubble really started taking off actually when the Paul Newman Daytona sold. Yeah, I think I so. think that was a trigger. You know, uh, that was definitely I think, uh, like there had to be a, a couple of things. I do remember uh, that that oh, was yeah. a huge deal. Marco said it too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why the waiting the wait list for uh, the Daytonas have really, but but even I think even the the old Daytonas. They were hard, hard to get. Yes, the Daytona has been going over retail for decades. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I think I think maybe because it was such a big event, uh, a lot of people got into kind of watch flipping because this whole. All of this, this whole situation can be a trip. It's not. It's not just. It's not just this one event. Uh, it, it's it's hard. Like I would actually, I need to write an article about this. That would be analyzing. Uh, analyzing this thing. Oh, I guess yeah. it's talking about this one right here. Yeah, that would be. A, yeah, I. I, I I find it kind of interesting going back and trying to read old articles on Blog to Watch and I uh -huh. think he, just to see how the market was back then. Mm. Yeah. That there you go. Right. Try, how about how about you do the research? Put it on TimWright.com. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey guys, if somebody super chats, oh no, don't don't super chat. PayPal. PayPal fifty dollars. Conrad will do a research and make an article. You want to write an article, Conrad? Sure, if I have some time. There we go. Okay, very good. If somebody wants an in-depth uh, analysis, uh, PayPal fifty bucks, and uh, Conrad will get onto it. Share audio. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait. He's talking about this guy, Nando's diversity ad. Wait, is he talking about Nando's advert? Oh, South Africa. This no, one. no, dic dictator. For which not, one? Not Nando's diversity. South African dictator. Oh, this one right here. Dictator standing band ad. Is this is this this one? There's no way. I'm not sure. Perth, can you send us the link? Perth, please send us the link. I mean, it's hard. There's so much. There's so many of these vids on the on the YouTube. Uh, what happened? Happened after Paul Newman's auction. Yeah, but just you know, it just because it happened after the auction doesn't mean that the auction was the cause, right? It, you know what I mean? Sure. But it, it definitely fits the, the, the narrative. story pretty well. 
It started at the beginning of 2017 because I remember waiting for my Batman in 2016 and being worried seeing Rolex becoming more popular. But it only got hyped mid to end of 2017. It, it could also be uh, Rolex reacting to... Oh, here we go. He, he, he sent me the link. It could be them reacting to share copy to market so like uh rolex could have engineered this whole situation right not necessarily i i think another major factor was at that time a lot of watch channels started and watch instagrams mm -hmm. that's when instagram became uh and because before that, it there was there was just Archie, Rodent, and Tim Mosso. Okay, here we go. Okay. This doesn't look too bad. Oh, hey, never mind. Those were the days, my friend, <laughs> with the fake name. Oh shit! Sure. <laughs> okay. Is this a parody or this is the? Or is this a real ad? Oh okay, okay. It's a it's a parody. Gotcha. <laughs> do you think? Do you think all of these dictators they're like buddies? You think they're, or do you think they're more like, or do you think Five they're rivals. more like rodent, like they're like, or do you think their relationship bet between them is like us and rodent? What do you think? Do they just hate each other, but they see themselves, the other people as competitors, or, or is it just like a big happy family? <laughs> Hard I think to say. if I had to, if I had to speculate, I think they would be rivals but it's a lot funnier to think of them as friends <laughs> oh my god uh let's see epc daytona's have always been yeah yeah exactly and that's why it's really hard because uh the pole newman daytona sold for so much it's and because daytona's were already waitlist so it's so you have to think about it was it the fact that it was hard to get Daytonas that caused the Paul Newman Daytona to sell for so much? Or was it the Paul Newman going for so much? Or or did Rolex orchestrate the, the whole sale of the Paul Newman's Daytona? You know what I mean? It's hard to see what was the what was the cause. But like if you think about it, Rolex continually withholding the Daytonas. It, like if I were to uh, analyze this, right, I would say that the fact that Rolex did not mass produce the Daytonas and has been withholding them for years and years and years, I think that was what caused the Paul Newman Daytona to sell for such an insane amount. And that in uh, that could have been another event that then propelled the Daytonas to new heights. So uh, I don't yeah, think... Yeah, they, they were laying the groundwork for a long time. Exactly, exactly. Tony Nico, that is the ideal uh, of uh, 5711. Be very uh, understated and fit for any occasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, we got Perth Luxury. Real ad in SA, it got banned. Did you see your mate Mao? <laughs> Look, I mean, I, I don't I don't consider dictators to be my my uh, uh like but I don't like dictators. I don't know I don't know why people <laughs> I'm a social democrat, I believe in democracy, right? So uh I'm not I I don't like dictators. Uh, some people think that dictators are inevitable in socialism, but I think I disagree. I think uh, 
the social the supposed socialist or communist countries that had dictators i don't i don't call i wouldn't call them socialist countries you know what i mean uh it i it, they're just different kind of uh uh government systems hello marco and hello epc tim you're so wrong on that it's not even funny so wrong on oh wait 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 i missed the super chat my god sorry <laughs> sorry, sorry hold on hold on Oh, Dave, style collector, new tutor in yellow. What do you say? Wait. Ooh. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on. We'll talk about it in a second, Tim. Is that, a new tutor? that socialist dictatorships are real socialism. Oh, he's talking about. Wait, are you talking about? I'm talking uh, about what you just said two seconds ago. No, no, so no. Wrong about that. Yeah, it's got to be this. Yeah, it's got to be this. Yeah, um, that's the one. I don't, well, it's not. It's yellow gold. It's yellow gold. I think it's actually. I'm disappointed. I think it's a little bit ghastly because, especially with the release of the new ceramic tutor, the what, what the the new ceramic tutor proved is that that tutor can actually put some work into a movement and can make a great looking movement. What they show here through this case back is a little disappointed. It's, it's disappointing. The router, the, the rotor should have been gold. Okay. I I think the rotor should have been gold. It feels like they cheaped out. Uh the kind of uh they, they I, it almost feels like they put the clear through back is that they can save money on they can save a little bit of money on gold. And then they save money on putting a gold rotor, the rooted rotor. I have finished, uh, Tony Nico. I haven't finished watching game three Lakers versus Suns. So no spoilers, please. Okay, guys, don't talk about sports. Got it? Yeah. I mean, I, I, but you know what? I think there is, it's this, it's made for a specific kind of clientele. Oh, he says no. It's yellow on Joma shop. Uh, yeah, I know you're not the only one who has internet issues. EPC, I'm struggling with the internet as well. Joma shop. <clears throat> what what yellow tutor? I, I'm not sure. Let's see, tutor. Just, just oh, this one? Oh, it's bron. This one. Bronze? The bronze? The bronzo? It's called the bronzo, right? Maybe it's, maybe not, it's this it, one. It's not new, though. That's hmm? bronze, yeah. Yeah, this is bronzo. It's chunky. 43. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It, it's yeah, and the, the problem oh, has a yellow face. He said, Yellow face, yellow face, yellow dollar. It's complicated. Oh, Ooh. this Ugh. one. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, it's not listen, it's not, not the worst. Hey, you know what? It is loud, it is loud. I this looks say. like a, a holdover from Tudor's old design. By the way, you know what? This is where Tudor started uh, experimenting with the ceramic because I think these are ceramic bezel and ceramic. I mean, the pushers might be even ceramic. Who knows? Are you sure it's ceramic? I'm pretty sure. Let's see. It's not PVD? No, actually. It's ceramic. No, it's ceramic. It's the ceramic. fast riders are ceramic. Yeah. Okay, there you go. You see? Um, it's like you can see tutors taking steps in experimenting with ceramics. So hey, I think yeah, and and it has like the oyster the the discount oyster flex. Mm. Tony Nichols says for keeping me entertained. Thank you so much, Tony. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do the show because I was a little bit tired. But hey, thank you so much. And style collector, yellow face. I think this is it. This got to be it. Style collector. Come on, man. We're working on getting more Rolex in the collections. I, I mean, I don't think 
he needs it. However, you know what? I gotta say, it's not the worst watch that I've seen. You you, could, you know it's a hot watch when it has a coupon for five hundred dollars off. Yeah. No, this is yeah. I, I well, this is before Tudor had a. Uh, like this is a Salida movement, right? This has got to be some kind of a. What was the movement? Era. Oh, this is Era Volju, caliber seven seven five three. Okay, so it's just it's non in house. However, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this. I've held one of these. They actually have it on a beautiful. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, they don't have these for sale. But I've seen a different variant of this, right? I think it was fully ceramic with even the ceramic case. And I thought, you know what? It was pre- for the price. It's pretty good. Like 3350 You take off another 500 That's a $2,800 watch. Guys, that's pretty good. That's pretty check, good. Check, check, check the, uh, the Monte Carlo. On, here on Joe Michel. I don't like Monte Carlo. Mo- Monte Carlo. Really? I like it a lot more than this. Monte Carlo is so thick, though. It Like, visually, I got to say, like, vi- like this one looks visually worse than Monte Carlo, right? But the case shape and the, the, how much they weigh, I like that. I definitely prefer this one, even though the dial is, it's a very, you know, it's a very unique dial. It's almost like, uh, like that Rolex, Oyster Perpetual mustard dial. Well, problem is, Tim, is I feel like you get tired of this kind of dial very quickly and very easily, and getting yeah. out of it is not the easiest thing ever, right? No, no, it's probably it's it's like, like, impossible. It's an it's impossible. If he's wanted to Tudor chronograph, Jimmy just put a great suggestion, the Monte Carlo. I think the Tudor Monte Carlo are a great discount bargain chronograph. And you get a column wheel, vertical clutch, much better than speedy, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's vertical clutch column. So way better than the speedy. The actuation at least. Hmm. Look, I mean, I, I don't recommend buying these. I, I wouldn't go out and buy this. Um, style collector. I mean, look. Yeah. But they're, yeah. are they yellow like this? I think the only reason we're, we're, we're saying that he, he shouldn't get it because this color is so... Oh, watch guy specific. But if there was oh green one, this is this is worse than the yellow one. I feel like the yellow one's pretty cool. You know, Gordon Ramsay wears a a yellow brightling like this. Or or you can pull an Austin Daniels and get the service dial. Uh, missed my super chat telling you who all of Tim's friends are. Man, I'm not good at this. Uh, <laughs> ah, wait, no, no. I, oh, okay, no, no, I did miss it. Uh, Perth Luxury, Tim's friends, Mugabe, Chairman Mao, <laughs> Saddam, <laughs> Adi Ami, Amin, PW Bosa. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, sure. What, what, whatever, whatever you say. I mean, I, I don't consider them my friends, but hey, I, uh, you know how it is. It's, uh, I don't think, I don't think, I don't take anything personally. So thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat, uh, Perth Luxury. I really, really appreciate you. By the way, um, he's going to drop the, uh, the, the code, the code for, the Mirage watches. So that's highly appreciated. Frank Gerard, Tim, I agree. Oh, this is, this is Frank, right? The Frank is back. Tim, I agree with you that the wealth of billionaires can be retained within the borders even if you raise taxes to 90%. 70 billionaires have passed away in the past eight years in China. Uh, with the, even if you raise taxes to 90%. I mean, I, 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 I would love to talk to you about the this whole thing, but not during the the watch show. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do a debate. We'll, we'll schedule you. We'll schedule. Email me. Email me. We'll set up a date, and we'll have a nice talk. You can actually email me the topics you want to touch on. We'll do a whole thing. It's gonna be glorious. Yeah, you you can do like a one on one. Yeah. 
we can do I can do one on three, whatever. Marco can can go help help out Frank, right? I'll pass. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> 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 oh my god so funny so funny uh Parthology, going to my money loving capitalist and populist whg uh meaning to say that i'm uh going to my uh, money loving capitalist uh oh who's this wag you butcher hmm. that's the wag you is a meat is yeah, a type of meat expensive steak yeah but australia has wagyu cows so it's not super expensive wow, for them. wow wagyu very cool learn something yeah. new every day though those cows get like oh no that's kobe they get massages <laughs> by the way thank you to jimmy you just reminded me to upload and forgot to so i just uh, did that guys make sure to like comment and subscribe right oh i forgot to upload as well <laughs> it's, it's my <laughs> show and <laughs> it's a good thing. Good thing. Yeah, Very well, good. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's important. It's important. The algorithm. The algorithm. The cheap we, algorithm. Yeah, we all are subservient to the algorithm. Tony Nico, I have I have Kobe beef. Ooh, of course damn. he does. <laughs> By the way, there there was uh, I think one of the first images that I've ever seen of Tony. Is him making steaks, and the steaks were so true. Good. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I was like, "Damn, this is some crazy steaks! What the hell? I didn't even know they make steaks that big." <laughs> I mean, if you go to a butcher, Tim, they can yeah. cut you a steak any size you want. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, I, I, Tony's like, "Just get me the biggest one you got." <laughs> it's like, and that's why you know that's why I'm so surprised. He is so slim compared to I told to you, Tim, if I was eating like what he eats, fuck, I would be 800 pounds. I wouldn't be able to walk. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. By the way, I hit 189 today. 189. I hit 191, too. 191? Yeah. Ooh, we're double chin to double chin. This, this, this race is going to be close. Well, it's not really a competition, as I said, Tim. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I know. But. I just want to do it because it's healthy to do it, you know? Yeah. And nothing wrong with healthy competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really <laughs> anal about it. I had McDonald's yesterday, Tim. And, like, oh, I, no. I, that's why you're never going to beat me. I'm not going to be super anal. Marco, you, <laughs> did, you did you watch the drone unboxing? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. The big. It's so big, guys. It's huge. <laughs> Tim Tim had his own little cheat meal. Oh, I didn't and, see that. But it was a veggie. It, oh, no, it was a pizza. Yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah, pizza. There yeah. was vegetable pizza. It was mushroom pizza and artichoke pizza. I don't think they're high in calorie. Because if I if I got it with like pepperoni, are you kidding me? It's like getting four slices. I think it's destructive. And also then I took a huge... By, I buried the way. I barely got home that day. You don't understand what I had to go through on that day. It was a disaster. I was carrying the drone and the box and everything. Jeez. Hello, Tommy. What's up, guys? Hey, we're just uh, we're just looking. By the way, look at this. What do you think about this tour? Hmm. The yellow is pretty flashy. It's not something I would get, but I can see how someone would want it. You know. Yeah. Right. Voice at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know anything about the watch though. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't recommend uh, Style Collector to get it from Joma Shop simply for the fact that uh, we can be getting something from my AD that could help him build relationship. So, although, you know, this is not the worst watch that they have. Look, the red one is way worse. The Look at this, the red. And that's kind of ugly, yeah, yeah. Right, and they have one with the steel. That's, this is... <sighs> and this is more expensive. This is awful. Jesus. Oh my God! Look at the the logo. It's Tudor Shield, and it says Tudor Geneva Chronograph for some reason. This is fugly. <laughs> Stay away. Out of these, I think the rubber, the one on rubber, is the best. So, 
you know, you can see he's he, he's he's good. He can pick out good stuff. Oh, Memorial Day sale. They have a dyed panda, guys. Did you did you see this? Jomo Shop has dyed panda for six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. This is over retail. I feel. You know what is retail like forty five? This has got to be over retail. Uh, let's see. Ya. Uh, sh how do I? Let's just go to Tudor website. I think so. Who? You know what? I thought eight thousand was the retail. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No. 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 It's forty something. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna find out right now. It's five thousand. Oh, I was looking at yeah, yeah. Not yeah, retail. 5, I was looking 000. at profit. Mm -hmm. You see, two five thousand two hundred and twenty-five, and here they have for six thousand seven. By the way, how come? How come? This is a question for you guys. How come when there is a tutor? Let me just go back. When this watch, when they were selling this watch, it says it's eighteen percent off, right? It's it's all it's eighteen percent off. How come when they're selling this tutor, they're not saying that this is? 20% above retail. How come they have percentage for when it's discounted? <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. Why that didn't they laughing. mention this, this <laughs> watch is being marked that. up? Huh? Riddle me this. That's interesting, Tim. I don't know. Yeah. Tim, you know guy. what's funny? I'm, uh, I checked the price on Tudor for Can Canadian price. And yeah. it's actually cheaper to buy it in Canadian dollars. Huh? Canadians got some discount. It may be import. It, oh, because there's import taxes. Maybe that's why. No, no, no. I mean, like the Canadian price in Canadian mm -hmm. dollars on Tudor website. It's cheaper once you make the conversion. Mm, Pro maybe because the Canadian dollar it went up re very recently. Ah. Oh. Yeah, but it's it's interesting because usually that's not the case. Usually we are paying more than you guys. Yeah, but because we have a communist dictator now, that's why the value of dollars is, is going out the window. Right? Don't worry, we we've had one of those for a long time. No, but your your guy is like a, a right winger <laughs> compared to ours. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, Paul, Timeless Watch Channel did a review uh, on his new Diet Panda. By the way, did he call it Diet Panda? I, I just want it. It'd be, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Uh, but not enough. Uh, but not enough that I'd buy one. Ah. Look, I think I really like this color. Cause you, and you can see how Tudor is kind of going mainstream with these new releases. You you look at this catalog of his of their previous watches. Look at this yellow, this this yellow, the green, right? The ow, ghastly ow. red, right? Ow. Wait, ow, ow, ow. these are right. dogs, dogs, absolute dogs. Stay away, style collector. I want to be nice, but I got to be totally honest. Keep it frank and honest. Dogs, absolute shitters. No, yeah, do do not, not shitters, follow dogs. Do not follow Austin Daniels on the tutors. <laughs> Do not. Oh no! What if he's watching? He's gonna dump on stream again. Well, you should only follow Austin Daniels on vintage Rolexes, pre-ceramic stuff. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no tutor stuff. Like, and but but look how they refine their brand. You go from this. However, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What what is my problem with tutor? Is that they had this case shape right and instead of refining and improving this case shape they took the cues from the black bay and they turned the the chrono you know they, they turned the chronographs into black bays so everything is now black bay so it's not so much tutor it's not a tutor chronograph it's black bay chronograph you shouldn't even put tutor on on the on the watch anymore <laughs> Because yeah. they're not tutors, they're black bays. If you want to make black bays, you make black bays. If you want to make tutors, you make tutors. It makes no sense. Like everything now is black bay. You did black bay GMT. 
and black bay 58 black bay yeah. gold black bay blue black bay burgundy everything is black bay black bay chronograph it's kind of black annoying bay heritage <laughs> And then, and that actually is making the brand Black very boring, gold. very boring, right? So you can go with something fun and fun. Like I think about this: if they if they release these black bays with this kind of yellow face, <sighs> at least it would have been fun. It was but, not boring. <laughs> yeah, at least not boring because the 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 panda, the new panda, the new two died pandas. Well, I do like them. See here, look. They did something not boring, but they made it in, in gold. What? There, there's this a black bay in every strength? single metal. Okay, steel, silver, gold, bronze, ceramic, PVD. Titanium? No titanium. Platinum? Ooh, not yet. Not yet. Mm. <laughs> so I guess that's coming next. Titanium black bag. Look, I mean, it's it it is it is kind of cool though. It is very cool, especially the black one. I think that's the one to get. Unfortunately, and I did find it interesting that they made it thin. Yeah. So I, at I least do they, like they tried the, a little. I do like the the Paul Thorpe edition. Although I don't know how they harvested Paul Thorpe's hair to make to mix it into the dial, into the bezel. I like the chrono, the new Black Bay chronograph. The problem is I like three register chronographs. And the other thing is it looks great on Timeless Watch Channel's wrist, which means it would be way too big for my wrist. <laughs> way too big. That's a good point. For, for my wrist. Yeah. On, on him, it looks the same size as the Sea Dweller. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, exactly. A, the Sea Dweller looks much. great on him, right? Yeah. And what 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 were they thinking with this strap? I gotta I gotta be honest. Like, come on. <laughs> no, the button strap. It's nice, Tim. What are you talking? About? Look how it you never seen those so they, those panda Daytonas on bun straps. Yeah. Actually, nice. yeah, it, cool. it was nice in 1921. Yeah, no, exactly. 1921. Don't be vicious and nasty. What are these even for? What are they for? Well, to absorb for as much sweat as possible. You know how stinky or, and disgusting they will be. Or different pilots that would go over uh, what's it called? Over a suit. You know what I mean? Dude, that that those days have gone long time ago. Yeah, but Tim, they're holding on. The watches is like uh, holding on to the past. You know what I mean? By the way, check this out. Check out how the crystal uh, makes the seconds track. Extend. Oh, it's hard to see on on the video. Fuck! How come when they're making it bigger, it makes it smaller? <laughs> it's can't. It's hard to see. It's hard to see. You have to open up your own page. But that's pretty cool. No, I don't. I don't like it. I don't. It's so bulky. It's gonna absorb so so much sweat. This thing is it, it's <laughs> man. Pav, Marco, uh, whenever I hear the Americans on here, they never relate to me culturally wise. Oh. The same as ones from Canada and Australia. I'd say Canada is more similar than US, but less than Australia. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we're talking about like similarities between Canadian and UK culture. I mean, mm. we were technically a British state up until the end of World War II. Yeah. And we still have ties to the British monarchy. So it's like, Mm. I can understand maybe culturized, but we're very Americanized for sure. Mm. Plus, I haven't ever been to the UK or anywhere else. Yeah, you know what I mean, like for Australia. Yeah, UK but is I will very be different. soon. I will be soon. Mm. I'd like to go to like Brisbane and Darwin and meet everybody. Brisbane. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have Darwin, to. We have to Melbourne, take a show stuff, on tour. Sydney. Yeah, Mark, you know, like Just how like, rock stars everywhere. go on tour. <laughs> travel to different to play we have to take the live stream on tour <laughs> right tony said we're still part of the commonwealth yeah we are technically still part of it damn just wait until they bring it back baby <clears throat> adelaide uk is, adelaide UK is gonna say we want we want our land back <laughs> it's in the contract <laughs> Yellow Rinko, UK feels less canada. <laughs> can't live anywhere anymore 
A what? It would go, if we did that, though, like, it's like a never-ending, that's the problem with, like, you know, land. It, like, there's always someone who was there before, you know? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's all about <coughs> if you if you have enough guns to claim it's yours. That's that's all that <laughs> that's really matters at the end of the day. You know, this whole thing, like, about who the land belongs to, uh, it's <laughs> nice. It's nice if you were there first, right? It's just, it. oh, you were there first. That's cool. But we have more guns than you, so see ya. Yeah. When wanna be ya. Yeah, that's, that's what Russians told Ukrainians when they took the the Crimea back. <laughs> Spencer, super chat. Ooh, Spencer, four dollars Canadian. She's the queen of Canada, technically. Ooh, yeah. that's Damn. hilarious. <laughs> Do you recognize that, Marco? Yeah, no, she's technically the queen. Yeah, hundred percent. Cool. Damn. I mean, it is what it is. Long live the queen, right, Marco? I mean, I don't know. Really and if the queen me. wants to exercise, yeah, explain wants to, to me to... what makes the queen so special that I that doesn't make me special. To I'll tell you. To me. I'll tell you, man. Uh, well, nothing special well, about her. She was not appointed by God or anybody else. Well, she, well according to the Bible, according to her interpretation of the Bible, she was appointed, right? Well, I, I'm pretty sure leaders are born to him after wars are fought, and then you know people will rally around one leader, and then that kind of leaders offsprings end up being kind of the what's it called the royal family you right? oh do you believe in generational wealth yeah because what happens is yes. that the, i don't usually, believe, i don't believe usually the, the leader the royal family, they have you know? all they have the, na- the brand name right they have the the wealth and they have the connections and that's what they just pass it on to their children right so generation you get the generational uh kind of status generation well, they, they don't pay they don't they don't live off it's like of the generational Clintons, wealth. right they got you get the, paid the wage. Called? You realize that, right? Well, the well but a lot of people say that, business. like Trump was the president. Now Ivanka Trump should be, and then uh, like uh, <laughs> nobody Eric said that. Trump I said it would and, be funny, and then Bobby Trump. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> no, but that's a lot of people. Like you know, they're saying, <laughs> you know, like I said, we would run. We would have enough. You know, technically, there's enough Trumps to run America for like the next Correct. fifty years. So right. yeah, <laughs> they got the brand name. Tim, that's what Trump meant. You remember when he sent that tweet with like that video? What is like Trump 2024, 2028, 2032? And so people thought <laughs> that was he would be a dictator, but what he meant was his kids would take over, right? Well, well no, yeah. I mean, so I think, I think he didn't. No, no, I think he didn't know that he can only be president twice. Uh, and then he, like, oh, as an excuse, he, he, he used it like, oh, no, I actually meant that my kids will be president. <laughs> 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 you know because uh he wasn't into politics before that you know but then you can't he was a democrat and democrats don't only... know anything about anything as you know so while he was democrat then, he was uh that's his democrat side that's the right <laughs> you cannot tell me though tell me could you imagine if ivanka the Trump runs the for Evite. president yeah, she runs for president. She ends yeah. up winning. She's the first female president. <laughs> that would out. take out. That would just be like, oh my! That would be the I'd ultimate troll. The ultimate troll. <laughs> so funny. That would be. Hilarious. It wouldn't be funny, Tim. Actually, that would be like doomsday. <laughs> that would be. Well, I mean, funny. it can't be worse than the than what we have now, right? Right. Well, that's I mean, point. Tim, listen, the American <laughs> government is filled with a decent amount of smart people. I wouldn't say all of them mm, were hard say so. to get them. Right. I would I mean, disagree. Listen, I would I mean, disagree. Tim, they mostly go if to the If they were so schools, smart, they would have been Trump, schools, right? If they were so smart, but... Well, no, Tim, that's, that's, no, that's, that's not necessarily. I think, I think right. we underestimate, Mark, I think people underestimate the how smart American people are. They're actually pretty... I can tell you, I'm one of them. They're pretty dumb. Yeah, but Tim, most people who work in government are generally smart. They go to uh, Ivy League schools and what have you. you no, yes, no, most are. people who work in U.S. government, like they work because of their name. Think about it, like uh, Cheney. Nepotism. Uh, nepotism, nepotism, nepotism is nepotism. all nepotism. Yeah. Think about it. Ivanka There's some Trump, nepotism. She, I'm not going to deny it. It's all 100%. nepotism. It's all nepotism. The Clintons, they go to the best right, schools all, and what like, have the, you, right? the Clinton's daughter. Like, think about it. Like, everyone right. in government. Is She's going like, to run for children. office in the next couple of years. You could just see it. Yeah. 100%. You could see it. Yeah. It's all. 
By the way, Perth Luxury, my MAGA hat is coming out of retirement. By the way, I, ha I, have, I actually have a MAGA hat. And it has a story. It has an incredible story behind it, too. What, you have Sitting. a MAGA hat? Are you joking? I have one, yes. Tim supports the cause, guys. Look at this. I will not show he it. He just like, doesn't just troll a, all of us. He just doesn't. Saying, he was an old supporter, <laughs> right? Uh, it, it has He's, an incredible story behind it. So, if you want to know that, that but, but it's 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 behind the paywall. A hundred dollar super chat. It's no nothing less. So, <laughs> but like, oh, but no, I, you know why I say that? Because capitalism and people love capitalism. So that's I. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> use it against them. You want to see the MAGA hat? It's not going to be cheap because nothing yep. is, is free, yeah, right? For $100, you have to wear it for the rest of the stream. You have to Ooh. wear it for the rest. $100 is a big ass. <laughs> oh. I don't really want to wear, wear it. <laughs> I mean, look, look. That's hilarious, Marco. You got to wear it. <laughs> look, look, I have it. Because, you know, in New York, you never know when you need to wear a MAGA hat. <laughs> <laughs> when you need to, Tim, New York is probably the most look, lefty state there is. Are you kidding? Look, no, you would. You you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Tim, it's been Democrat for like the past fifty years. <laughs> nah, nah, it, it's a different kind of Democrat. Our Democrats are super, super conservative. Yeah, it just, it's just, you know, Marco, okay, you, you it, it's more than meets the eye, and and JJ would probably tell you that. That's why when these laws were written, right, that he was complaining about, right. He said, "Like, oh, these are oh, this is all bullshit," and he's right. Like, it, it's not, it's not that simple. And actually, I, I was talking to Conrad about like U.S. pop. Wait, wait, where did Conrad go? Did he had to. He's he he stepping away for a second. I don't know where oh, he went. Okay. I was talking with him about politics a little bit. He said, like, he said he follows. Uh, uh, he said he follows U.S. politics for a long time, and uh, we had a little discussion. And I, and I told him, like, dude. Why? Why are we talking about this and not monetizing this? This is a waste of time. Let's just let's just talk about it on air. So maybe we'll do a special show for that. But yeah, uh, Perth uh, Luxury Tim, do you realize what JJ will do if he sees you in that hat? Oh yeah, he's gonna give me a big hug. He'll call me his brother. <laughs> you say he'll he'll he'll, he'll cure all the disagreements we, that we might have. <laughs> Say, my man, my man. Danger Will Robinson, $50. $50 to kick Tim off. 100 for Tim to wear his secret MAGA hat. <laughs> Wait, you can't kick me off? No, no. <laughs> I don't want to be kicked off. From $250. My own show, yeah. right. $250. No, 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 no. no. That's Tim, we all have a price. Are you joking with me? Yeah, I guess so. Look, I, I, did, I did one my. I'd be one gone. Hour. I'd be like, "Thank you guys. Have a yeah, nice day." Yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> Look, I, I did my one hour. I feel like I, uh, I did my time. I, the COVID vaccine. I'm back. I'm feeling great. Oh, okay. oh by the way, yeah. I have two two fragrances here to recommend. Check this out. I got the. By the way, there's a sample of. Of the one you have, Marco. Lom. Oh, yeah, that's the one I have. And also on the other side, they got this one. The Y. This is the new uh, Yves Saint Laurent Parfum. This thing is freaking amazing. Uh, when I was in the city Sunday, I sprayed myself. You, know, I tried to buy this <laughs> for a long time. It's always sold out on Yves Saint Laurent website. It's always sold out. Oh, it's so good. Freaking amazing. Guys, if you want something amazing for the evening, this is evening fragrance. Summer, evening. Yi Saint Laurent Y Parfum. Okay? Because the old one was the Eau de Parfum. Nice. So like I, I I can't buy that one because I already have one, right? But this is a different uh, kind of formulation, as you can see. The bottle goes from black to clear, and but the new one, the bottle is completely blacked out. 
I'm just spray a little bit. This is lighter version. So this is kind of during the day. This is an alternative to Blue de Chanel. An amazing alternative. Yi Saint Laurent Y. Love it. Love it. Yeah, this is just a, this is a sweeter, darker version. Ooh. Improve your wrist. Tim, thoughts on Parfums de Marly. Is that how you pronounce it, uh, Marco? No, it's Parfum. Parfum. De. De. I don't know how to pronounce it in French. Like, it's just Marly. Marly would be it. Marly. <laughs> and then Leighton. That's English. Marley and Leighton are English words. Ah. Parfum de Marly. Leighton. Parfum. Yeah. I don't know how, how to say that. Leighton. There's no such thing as A-Y Leighton. in French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as A-Y in French. Oh, my God. It's amazing. I, I have it. Not that I know of. See, I have Leighton. I wouldn't have it if it wasn't amazing. You know you know what this what Leighton is? It's literally like... They yeah, that's it's impossible. You have everything when it comes to color. <laughs> yeah, I have all, all like... Man, I had, right. I had so I had more. I sold them. I went through a lot of fragrances and I kept the best ones. And now I'm actually I'm gonna be selling a lot more, a lot of my fragrances. But Leighton, it's like, it's like why, but bespoke. If that makes any sense. That sounds expensive. Yeah, it it is expensive. I mean, this is three hundred dollars. Oh my god. Yeah, it's expensive. It, it, but where this one is like one one oh five, I think. This is one oh five. This is three times the price. Are but we the saying, you, oh sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, it's, it's, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Let me show you let me show you the bottle. Part part of the reason that, that it's expensive because this fight off bottle. Look at this. They're probably not that expensive to make, Tim. I hate to break it to you. I know, but this thing, the cork is so heavy. I mean, I mean, it it's a very pretty bottle. It might just be a dense metal tip, <laughs> or it's there's true. a magnet. Or something. True. No, no, I, I think know. I think no. If it was cheap to make this, actually, then Jeremy Fragrance and you know those guys who make their own fragrance, they would be making custom bottles. But it's not. It, I think this is actually stone. It's like a ceramic. Know what I mean? Ah, oh, very cool. Tim, what do you think about that guy, Jeremy? For he's a bit out there, if I'm being honest. Total loon. <laughs> yeah, he's I mean, crazy. he just he just pumps out. Well, he's got like a thing going. I don't really watch it. It's affiliate links. It's just he's just pumping uh, out vids, and he puts affiliate links, and he makes he makes a lot of money because of the affiliate links. Gotcha. So just, he just Tim. pump pump pump. There's no even there's no thought even put into videos anymore. I think maybe a long time ago. He used to do some like reviews, uh, but now it's just pump, pump and dump, pump and dump, just quantity over quality. There's no, there's no editing. It's just quick ten, five minute video. It's just fill, filled with affiliate links. It's it's almost like pumping ads. I don't like it. I don't mm -hmm. I don't like it. Um, there there's there there, there was a lot of people with uh, it, it, you know it's not so much like these videos. They're kind of useless. What they're good for is uh, just uh, like mentioning some kind of fragrance, right? But I think at the end of the day, you do have to go to and smell it for yourself. Just write, make a list. I actually, you know what? I'll make a list on my website of fragrances that everybody has to try. At like, uh, you know, go to Sephora. Maybe I'll do like a video, like go to Sephora and film like, what do you need to try? Like this one, try this one, try this one, try this one. And just pick pick what's what's good for you, but yeah. Tim, you know what I was thinking? Three piece okay. combo deal. If you could only have three colognes, you know what's the ones that I could think of from what? from the ones that you've told me. Okay, I'm an amateur, but think. Tell me what you think about this. Let's go. You gotta have Creed Aventus. Yeah, must. You gotta have Parfums Marley Layton. Boom. And the other one, I would say, because you want something a little bit stronger, it's uh, Tom Ford, the tobacco one. What's that called? Tobacco oud. That's the three piece. Dude. What do you think about that? Oud. Wow, that is amazing. By the I way, learned a lot from you guys. Holy yeah. 
Dude. Right? Isn't that a perfect three-piece combo deal? Shit, man. Because the really cool thing, it's like you have mass appeal in the Aventus. Right. Just every every day you can wear it. It's amazing. You can have something uh, that's very unique in Layton. You know, when you want to feel like you're different than everybody else, and then you can have one just <laughs> F off, uh, uh, basically a president with diamonds. <laughs> equivalent of uh of fragrance right when you want to show off a little like the latent and creed aventus will be your you know your daily kind of uh fragrance but that's the three piece from what i've gotten from you guys what do you think tim would you change anything by the way this is coming from a guy who wears mont blanc legend spirit it's a four plus fight so i I know nothing about fragrance i know nothing about what i'm talking about (sighs) I would totally fucking agree with you. That is uh, actually, you know what? Can I make a video? Dude, and, and it's all about yours. That? 100%. Thank you. Yeah, that is genius, actually. I, you know, when you put it that way, that is, and they're not, they're, they're all, they're not cheap, right? right. And there could be, a, there could, because they're all at $300 range. Like Those are all Ooh. $300 fragrances. Yeah. Uh, but, that bitch. <laughs> look, look, right. it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. It is what it is. And but here's the thing, guys. The oud wood, I mean sorry, not the oud wood, tobacco oud. This is Mark the one the one you said. Right, that's the one. It's discontinued. Oh, wait, they yes. don't make it anymore? They don't make it anymore. And my uh. fear is that because this is what's called a private blend. Uh, it, would, they, it comes in these bottles that, that have this Tom Ford kind of, uh, they have the Tom Ford logo at the top, right, right, right. this bottle. Um, my fear is that, sorry, it, it doesn't pop up. My fear is that they will reformulate this and make it lighter for everyday appeal. If you can find the bottle of tobacco oud, you have to grab it, grab it ASAP because this is this thing is insane. Oh, there's a super chat or something. Hold on. Sorry, no, there. no, okay, okay, no, okay, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to grab it before. And actually, one of the viewers did grab it when it was released. Now I, I don't remember who, but someone was saying like, "I got it. I got it before it was discontinued." Like, because I I remember I was I was talking to even like I, I look I picked up. I picked up a bottle of uh, Tom Ford fucking fabulous. Because I think it might get discontinued so- soon as well. And I just wanted, you know, have it as a kind of little investment. And it's it's, it's also a classic. But Tobacco Oud is definitely way better. It's so Tom Ford. You, you know how I said from John Galt. What would you wear with Tom Ford tobacco oud on? Probably one of those Hawaiian shirts, or like like a very Miami look. You know what I mean? That's what I would imagine it smells like. You know, I don't know. I think anything that's black, like even a black T-shirt or even black polo shirt, because in this casual world, I would just wear something that's black. You wear something that's black. You 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 do have to have a beard. You, you grow up, grow out your beard. Like right now, this is a perfect time for me to bust out, do a couple of sprays of tobacco oud. Just oh my god! Actually, I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. Fuck it. Enjoy <laughs> life. Holy but shit! Tim, since tobacco oud is discontinued, right? You can't buy it readily. What would you replace it with? Like I know there's other tobacco. Like type smell, like Dolce Gabbana, the one yeah. is very good, highly recommended. But yeah. that's like a little bit more affordable, right? Oh yeah, there's, I don't know there's, if there's better stuff than like. What would be your third recommendation? Like readily accessible, you know, anybody could go and buy. Uh, I have a bottle somewhere here uh, of Jean Vervedo's Dark Rebel. That can be a very cheap alternative to tobacco oud. <laughs> Just, I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, go find it. We'll keep the chat entertained. <laughs> or 
But this is a good vi Tim, you have to make some fragrance videos. You got to make fragrance videos comparing the Panda and the Pepsi, the Pepsi and the the Mariner. I'm going to be able a lot to of videos. You got a lot of videos to make. Write these all down, Tim. Write these all down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm actually I'm writing it down right now. Uh well, I need to the holy trinity of fragrances. Right. Here we go. Here we go. I do have a list of videos I need to make. See it right here. Wait. There we go. See, that's my list. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dude, I know. It's, I'm buried. I'm buried. The list is uh, getting longer, but videos are coming out. I know. <laughs> He's making videos about huge drones. It's so big, guys. It's, it's so a big drone. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, what the fuck is this? This is like an intro to a porno. So like, it's so big. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and this one. This is a really good one. Uh, video matching fragrances to your watches. <coughs> yeah, I actually, I have to send my uh, Creed Aventus to showcase watches. And he said he'll pay for the shipping, which is, whoo! Uh, <laughs> so I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, so I have to, actually, I'm going to make a video about Aventus. Before I send it, I, because uh, then when I send it, this is gone. But I'm gonna do a first video like that, matching, because I think Creed Aventus and Panda. That's like that is what. It's the Panda. Oh, yeah. The yeah, and the Green Irish Tweed is the sub. The Green Irish Tweed. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. What's because the paddock? The, huh? What's the paddock? If you had a paddock, what do you think would be that? Paddock, man. You know, I think. Oh. Melissim Imperial. What about Baccarat Rouge? Baccarat Rouge. Ooh, that's like a world time, actually. Yeah, that's like a Colise now world time, right? Yeah, yeah. Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> wow. Ooh, Vincent Lamartina. Three favorite perfume houses. Guerlain, Creed, and Chanel. Uh, can, you, can you read it in French, Marco? It would be Guerlain. Creed and Chanel. Cool. Chanel. Yeah. Gerlain. By the way, Gerlain. Gerlain. They're, they're actually like the paddock fragrances of the watch world. Surprisingly. They, they have a lot of interesting stuff. However, like I never got into them uh, because I just I ran out of money. By the time I got to Guerlain, I was like, ah, man, I don't have, I, I hope one day to, to get into Guerlain. They have so many stuff, like, they're, they have these really amazing fragrances. When they take, like, single notes, like vanilla, and they make the best vanilla fragrance. I mean, we're not mixing too much. Ooh, Perth Luxury. Tim should debate YouTuber Red Eagle politics, no problem. Ready. Tim, you know what I'm thinking? What you could even do? You can do Creed Aventus, Blue de Chanel, because Blue de Chanel doesn't smell like the other three, right? Mm -hmm. And you keep like your one fike off perfume as the Leighton. You know what no. I mean? No, the thing is though, because Blue de Chanel is very similar to Leighton. Okay, it's similar. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. See, I didn't so, see that. so, so, what I would say, like, uh, uh, Blue de Chanel is below. Leighton. Leighton could be can be considered like you know how like if there is a uh man like oh okay okay so here here's how I would I would look at the blue de Chanel. Blue de Chanel is the 57 oh sorry 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 Blue de Chanel would be like if in watch world if you had to imagine it right the it would be like and then Leighton is the 57 11 no, no no yes 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 like that like yeah. they're both That's great, but but fifty seven eleven is more desirable, a little bit better maybe for most people. I prefer the Aquanaut, just saying. But yeah, but yeah, I got the reference. Yeah, it's it's just like there's it, there's it's got a little bit look at more. There's a little bit more pizzazz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is uh, Chanel? Is very modern, very modern. Like. I don't know how, what's going to be the longevity on it, though. Uh, how, how long is it going to stay classy? 
Mugler, pure Havan is legit, yo. Hard to get though. Um, uh, pure Havan, that's like that. That could be an alternative to tobacco oud. Mug, mug. So discontinue. I think it's uh ooh. Shit. Uh, fragrance. 11 let's see pure have pure he, said he, the problem. he bought it one on ebay and he got got but he got refunded yeah <laughs> i mean it is what it is you know what i mean those people, problem yeah right. because because a yeah. mugler you see all of these you see these specific bottles these blue or th this rubber bottle i don't i hate the bottle but um see this is probably a fake one look this guy has 71 reviews i wouldn't trust this guy discontinued though um i had to i had to sell mine unfortunately because like i don't even know look this is a minefield probably these for 225 are real look there you go there's a guy selling all three for 700 and th this is what i'm telling you like guys the fragrances it's legit this stuff is expensive and you can actually make money on it if you if you buy uh, good one. It goes over retail. Like you can, you can buy a fragrance, use it a couple of a couple of times, and then sell and make money. People, mm. people think people think I'm, uh, you know, I'm. I waste. No, you a can lot do that with a lot of things. Tim. You can yeah. do that with scotch, right? The Yamazaki yep. that Captain got, right? And sells for huge premium. Do yep. that with cigars. Cigars are very like very rare cigars that have been aged. You can resell them for handsome handsome profit mm. uh i mean there's a watches there's a lot of luxury items that are very collectible like that mm. even coins him like coins they'll sell over their spot price just because they're collectible you know what i mean mm. oh, yeah, coins wine a lot of things right there's a bunch yeah wine wine's another one yeah i would you know oh wait how much is tom ford tobacco oud would go for it tom like it's not that I'm gonna sell mine, but I just I'm just curious. <sighs> Somebody smelling selling a ball a small bottle for three. This is probably even a fake one too. Shit. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Holy fuck. Seven hundred. It says great price. Yeah, did you see yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, great price. The fuck. Yeah. Seven hundred US. Where are you getting that number from? I don't know. Look where at this. Oh, and this is. Oh my god. But this is the intense, um, intense. Did I? No, oh, I just put the regular one. And they don't even have the regular one. Oh my god, this is a minefield. So Tim, at the end hey, of the Mr. day, GMT. you have control over the market. You can set your own price if nobody else. Hey is boys, how you going? Hey GMT. Hey. hey GMT. I'm just getting a haircut. I thought I'll just. I'm waiting to get my uh, hair done. Uh, hey, Mr. Done. GMT, I have a quick question. Um. Do you have a Tom Ford tobacco oud in your collection? Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, that's very sad. Okay. No, it's not. It just, just means I don't have it. No, it's just they discontinued it, so it's going to be very hard to get. I believe if I'm not meant to have it, it's not meant to be in one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. It It is what it is, but look, I... Because you have quite a quite a collection of fragrances, so I just wanted to know if you if you. Let's ask GMT, Mr. GMT. I gave my three fragrances, right? If you can only have three and be done, I said, Creed Aventis, Parfums de Marley Layton, and the other one would be Tom Ford Tobacco Oud. That would be the three. What do you think? What would be your Perfect. three? Perfect. Same. Exactly the same. Perfect. Yeah, Tim, you're you've a great teacher. I learned well. You've, you've got a good variety there. That's perfect. There you go. We're we're actually we're giving a legit advice. I'm surprised, man. That's why you gotta like, subscribe, and tell your friends, guys. Wow. This, wow. By the way, I knew fuck all about. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I just swore. <laughs> no, I no, knew nothing. Do it, but even Legend Spirit. That's like a, that's a good months. fragrance. Tim, I just picked it because it smelled good and it was cheap as hell. You know what I mean? That's all it was. A frugal Tim, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> uh, hey. I have if another we, one. If we're talking about top top line 
uh, fragrances, yeah, they're the three to get. Hmm. Vincent Lamarty says, my favorite Guerlain perfumes are Habit Rouge, Curie Intense, and Santal Royale. Ooh! Actually, out of all, the out of those, I do want to get Santal Royale. I've been trying, I've been, I've been thinking about getting it for a long time. And I think it's just, it was because I started doing the show that I uh, I stopped buying fragrances. I think after I joined the show, I was like, I had things to do because I remember I used to be bored. I was buying fragrances all the time, and even even when I was doing the show, I think I did have a drop coming in of like like four or five <laughs> fragrances. So, but uh, I can't. I can't. I have to be. I have to be like Marco. I have to be a little frugal from now on. To be careful. <laughs> Control Tim, you know the what I was thinking? Yeah. We need to make a WhatsApp group called Not Financial Advice. This way we can all get in. We can move the needle, Tim, with our collective bar buying power. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, yes. And we can follow what stonks what stonks are good and bad. You know what I mean? Stonks. People pay Tim, people pay a lot of money to be in those kind of groups. You know, what, like mm. they'll pay like twenty five bucks on Patreon to be part of a group that talks like daily stock advice. You know what I mean? Dude. Tim, uh, question, Tim uh, how are you feeling, buddy? Are you feeling all right? You know, my shoulder does hurt, but uh, the my temperature back, you know, dropped back down to normal. I did have like slight uh, headache, but I, I, I took a three hour nap and kind of bounced back. I was able to bounce back. Oh, that's good. Just checking on you, my man. Yeah. No, thank you. We're just wrapping up. We're going to go three more minutes. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna go too long. I don't want to request from a viewer. What do you think about these three fragrances right here? Oh, one second. Sorry, let me take off this. Let's have a look. What are we doing? okay, okay. Uh, no, no. <laughs> what are we seeing? What are we sorry, seeing? Sorry, I'm sorry. Polo blue, Armani. Uh, man, that's that's not the Armani to get. That's just like they're really basic. Well, I don't even know what. I don't even have the name the, the name of that because I don't care about that fragrance. But like Armani, Armani Code Colonia, Armani Code, like any Armani Code, or you know, like those are way better than the Armani he has. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the Polo blue. That's a that's a blue de Chanel wannabe, and I don't even know what the third one was. No, man, you really need to level up your fragrance game. What you know, what he needs to do. This is the upgrades he needs to do. Okay, get even like if he doesn't want to spend big money. Here's what he can get. First, uh, throw those ones out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> just chuck them, chuck them in the bin. Okay, <laughs> now. He can level up the pol blue, polo blue to Versace uh, blue. Yeah, man, okay. that's awesome. Yeah, yes. Dylan blue Versace. Okay. That yeah, that's it's cheap, but it's actually like it, it, it's a take on blue de Chanel, which has incense. Do you like incense? Basically, it's smoky. It's 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 a little. It's it's, 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 it's smoky. Like it's sweet. It's got a bit of bite. Is that are we talking about that kind of incense? Yeah, no, I'm smelling. It's got a little bite. <laughs> it's got a little bite to it. Are we are we going down that road, Maka? Are we going down that road? Going off the rails for a second. I thought this was going off the rails. I was like, incense. What does that smell like? Like what? All right, guys. I got rid of the mist. Do you reckon it's better just GMT? Yeah, I like GMT. Oh yeah. G Mr. Yeah, because... GMT, GMT, anything is good. No, I'm not good with names, so oh, I... I just said I always get called Mr. T, so I thought, well, I'll change it to just you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You know, uh, that would that would be for. Oh, we got Captain joining as well. Okay. You got you got to give us the three. What are the three yeah. that he should replace it with? Yeah, so Dylan Blue, right? That's instead of the blue the. The one that he has, the polo blue, right? Then he had Armani, the, just the basic one, right? I would flick that one to the side and we'll go for Armani Code Profumo. This is the one I, I have. have. I, used I, have, have I used to have the cheap version of that. You know, there's yeah. a cheap one. <laughs> yeah. Had that cheap. You can buy those at Costco on the yeah. discount aisle. I'm not even joking. They're like 25 Canadian. Like, we get really good deals. 
Oh, and by the way, uh, Danger Will Robinson has picked up Armani Code, I think, Colonia, or it, Armani Code Poor Om. I think, yeah, I think uh, right. he was because he had like a massive, he had like a coupon with him, uh, and he took a picture of just like a fragrance aisle, <laughs> and he told me like, "What's the best thing that you can see here?" And I looked through, and it was just a wall of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and Armani code in inside, like hidden. So I was like, that's the one to get. <laughs> and he got like, I think 40% off on it. It was some ridiculous coupon. So he saved a lot of money and he got the best one in that whole aisle because they had like KC1. They had a lot of the, the man, just, just garbage, just garbage. You know, uh, uh, there's so many, there's so many fragrances that are bullshit. Oh, he right. just told me. Hold on, mm -hmm. it's called Polo Safari, Tim. There is Polo Safari. Yeah, Polo that Safari. third picture. Let's let's bring it up. Polo Safari. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't think that's gonna cut it. I'm sorry, Ralph man. Lauren. He said, "Money's not an issue, Tim. Give him three yeah. recommendations." Oh, money's not an issue. Okay, then oh, he no, needs to replace this with Wood Wood. Wish you never said that. A Tom Tim, Ford Wood Wood. Yeah. The three that we just suggested. You got to go Creed Aventus. That's one. That's your everyday, right? He wants. He said, yeah, if he wants the best office of the and best. night out. Weekend office and night out, right? Okay. The weekend okay. is the Marley. Marley. Parfums, Parfums the Marley. The Layton. Layton, uh, but, but Layton, here, Layton. here's the thing. Hold on, hold on. There's a problem. He has to be, be he has to be careful because there's Layton. And there's Layton exclusive. You can't have both. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Layton Buy exclusive it. is better, but it's it's more specific for the situation. I think for him, he should just get the plain Lay Layton, right? Right. Just my best. Don't worry about it. That's what I do. <laughs> if money is not an issue. <laughs> then of course. <laughs> right. It's not about the money. It's about, it's it's about living done. life. Right. Yeah. Layton. Uh, then a creative Aventus. Aventus is must have. That's now office, he can right? get for plain Aventus or he can go for Aventus Cologne. Or just get both. Which one's better? You know, for the summer, right now, if he lives in a really, no, no, really all the hot time. huh? All Cologne, is, Cologne is good for daytime. It's really nice. Yeah. So if he can, if he can Which swing I, I both. Have that one too. Yeah, I actually, I, uh, I have, the, I have a really big bottle of just regular one. I'm just gonna post a link. Yes. Captain's asking for the link. I think he's on his mobile. Okay. Oh, well, he's on here already. What do you mean he's, he wants yeah, to? He's on his mobile. He probably wants to go on his his computer. See, so oh, I okay. have the the big one of Creed Aventus. Nice. Which one's that one? This is the 250 mil. Jesus, why is the bottle cut different in that box? Like this. I, I, I mean, I, I had a hundred mil, but I'm. That's why I wasn't really much using of this one. But uh, now I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go that, through this Tim? juice, huh? How do you apply it? Is there like a push? Oh, that you there's a there's a tr there's a you pour it. On yourself, like yeah, a you bathe there, in there, it? There's a tap, there's a tap uh, underneath it. There is a uh, in the ship. When you, you pour it inside it. this uh, travel size. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. And then you spray it. Ooh, <laughs> that's good. Jeez, that, yeah, that seems like too much work. Too much work. It is. It is okay. a lot of work, but. So Tim, we need to wrap this up. Give yeah. give him the three. So parfums the Marley Layton, the regular, parfums right? The Marley just Layton. Layton. Just Layton. Just Layton. That's the weekend. Just bye bye. Just bye bye. That's the weekend. No, no. Let's let's give him three weekend. Three, just three to start with, and office? then he'll be addicted forever, and then he'll office be crazy like what? us. That's creative. Are you talking? Are you talking? Are you talking about Jeremy? Hold on, Jeremy, stop. Hold on. Uh, what's it called? The what's it, the what's it called? Oh. <laughs> what the heck happened? Oh, you fucking <laughs> killed my ears. Okay. No. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's try to do this again without interruption. Sorry, sorry, Mark. Oh, and without interruption. Well, Weekends. Parfums the Marley Layton. Yeah. Everyday office. What are we taking? Tim? Aventus. Aventus. Creed Aventus. And since tobacco oud isn't isn't available, 
We need a third. What's the Wood, third? Wood. Wood, Wood. Who's it by? Wood, Wood. Tom Ford. Tom Ford, Wood, Wood. Okay, that's yeah. the three. Yeah. There because, you go, guys. Three piece combo deal. Yeah, start with those. That's your, that's your night out, right? The night out. Oh, and Dangerous Wife says, I personally thank you for making the cologne suggestion. <laughs> there you go, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I right? It's so good. That's the thing. A lot of people, in me for the longest time, I didn't like fragrances because I was just buying bad ones. <laughs> I don't know, man. Steven. Okay. Yes, sir. Which fragrance did you pick up? You, you, you've got the Green Irish Tweet, right? I have the Aventus, the Green Irish Tweed. My nice. daily, my daily is the Green Irish Tweed and or Dolce Gabbana the one. Those were my alternating. You got you are pure two. class. Nice. Pure class. Wow. Pure class. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know the, I think a Venice on a daily is tough. I had this conversation with some uh, a work colleague mm -hmm. of mine who's into uh, some fragrances. Yeah. And um, he wears the Aventus on special occasions, like mm. fike off like big meetings or like when you want to make a statement because yeah you're taking over the room like when you're wearing aventus can i say something i don't get that reaction when i wear i don't know if it's just my skin whatever i don't, I don't understand no? but when i wear like when i wear Leighton, well, i'll get that oh at Leighton? yeah i like Leighton a lot Leighton is fantastic um so you wear that every day do you wear aventus every day uh, oh no no! I don't maintain. wear it every day. No 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 no! I don't wear it every day. But I'm saying it's, I don't get that reaction when I wear I, it. Well, uh, you know, I, love it. I, I wear it because I love it. Well, I heard the Australian version was watered down. Well, that doesn't surprise, that doesn't surprise <laughs> me. No one's got a short change just don't they? I've been using the H24 as the tail. Oh, I gotta get that. It's you guys so talked good. about the H24. That's another core. That's I've been girl. going through this yeah, bottle. Wait, really Tim, affordable three-piece combo deal. H24 has got to be in there. Yes. You should do a Holy Grail and affordable. Ah, Tim, there, that's okay, a Holy, okay. there Holy we go. Grail yeah. and affordable. Yeah. yeah. H24. Oh. What about Mont Blanc Explorer, right? That's the one? Oh, yes. Mont Blanc Explorer, because that's not super Explorer. expensive. It's very yep. good. And Blue and then, de Chanel. But that's a bit expensive. Uh, no, because you need that bad. one. Yeah, you need that one good Versace, that one Versace. Blue. Get the Versace blue. Or, or Dylan blue. Dylan blue. If it's Versace affordable, Dylan. Dylan blue is not It's not bad. It's really good quality. There you go. There you go. Write that down, Tim. There you we know go. what I used to wear a lot when I was in my younger years? Uh, Versace Dreamer. Oh, I have it. Ooh. I have it here. Well, yeah, your younger years, isn't that, isn't that right now, Mr. Uh, GMT? I'm not gonna I love the dream. That, that years ago. <laughs> Come on. I man. love Versace Dreamer. Oh my god. Actually, I spray this on my pillow sometimes. Tim, I think that will be my three piece really combo nice. deal. The H24. I'm gonna get the Legend Spirit. I'm gonna yeah. keep this. I like this one because I made so many memories with this. You know what I mean? It's like my cologne. Everybody, yeah, there's a the bit. Is that Versace? Which one is that? Wait, no, 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 no. no that was Legend Spirit. It's Legend Spirit. Uh, uh, it's so. Have you ever heard? Have you ever smelled Mont Versace Blanc. Dreamer? Oh, Mont Blanc. Okay. You know, and I was I asking Versace, that blue one. What I, what I was talking about pens the other day. Well, the last two days, I was wondering what else is Mont Blanc known for besides pens. Lines. Lines. Colognes are they're good. Cologne. Too, yeah. Okay, that would that would be a good legend one. is good and the Mont Blanc Explorer. Oh, by the way, good. um, I do have breaking legend news. I, I do have breaking watch news. I have huh? one bit of news that I had heard. Uh, you know, it, it just went viral uh, on the internet. It's breaking the internet. Uh, I want I want to get it out there before I forget. Okay. So um, hold on, hold on. Actually, no. wait, 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 Steven. Let's hold that. <laughs> hold that thought. <laughs> All the, we're gonna suspense. Okay. We're gonna build up suspense. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got, we got two chat. super chats it's coming in. Let's do some super. Let's do these two super chats. And we'll, I'm was sorry. I'm sorry. All right, all right. <laughs> anyway, anyway how, how how did you like it? I literally like. I was waiting for you to start talking. You're worse than my wife. Hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. I'm slow. Tiny stacker. Five dollar <laughs> super chat. Black Bay fifty eight blue. Plus reverse panda chrono or explore one thirty nine mil. 
I want to be around 10K. You know, personally, I think you should go for reverse Panda Chrono and explore 139 mil. Forget about the blue, the the Black Bay, because Black Bay and Explorer One, that those are, it's the same watch. The Explorer One is just better because it's Rolex. So, right? <laughs> um, I understand that this is gonna be over 10k, but I feel like here's the thing: the the don't get the Panda Chrono. Do not get the Panda Chrono. It's hot right now but just like the 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 black bay uh pepsi the diet pepsi when it came out it was really expensive and then it sunk it sunk into the ground now they're go think about it the people who bought them thinking that it's going to be investment piece i remember they were going for six thousand now they're like at three thousand eight hundred do not buy chrono now you can get it later what do you guys think you agree disagree yeah, don't buy it not, not in the secondary market. Yeah, and you'll be able. It's the same thing as Black Bay Fifty Eight, guys. Remember the Just, Black Bay Fifty Eight Blue? Yeah. Six months same after thing. it was discounted, right? Six months after you get it under retail. Boom. Yeah, Just wait. wait. Yeah. Grab the Explorer One though. It's going. It's only going up in price from this point on. It's just. It's gonna go. It's gonna go, mad because as more people, yeah. Just just get the Explorer One. It's discontinued. Yeah. yeah. And we got Paul Silicius, $10. Hi, Tim and the crew. Although I'm not crazy about the Ventus, I'm getting lots of compliments for it. I can smell it any uh, I can't I can smell it anymore. When uh, oh, so when he can't smell it, people around him still yeah, because it is a quite potent fragrance. So you your nose might kind of not be able to pick it up, but people around you, trust me, you are you are making a statement. Uh, when I'm in Miami, I tried the new Viking, and I actually like the old one better. Hey, like the new Viking, it's um, it's like a Ventus cologne. The Viking cologne is a lot like a Viking cologne. It's a uh, it's a lighter, lighter diluted version. To me, it's like maybe you can use instead of you can get the old Viking instead of using five sprays, you can do two sprays. And you can get the similar effect. So sometimes it's, I am kind of a little bit divided on that. Do you get the cologne or do you just do a fewer sprays? Hard to say, but I uh, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good for for what it was. You know what I put on? What? I think it, you know it wore off. The Silver Mountain Water. I have a tester. Yeah. And I might go for a bottle because um, I do I like it, but. It's not cheap, Silver Mountain Water. I mean, they're all expensive. Um, By the way, uh, you know, you know who I recommend? <laughs> Spence R was asking me, uh, like, uh, Spence R, by the way, $7 super chat. Green Irish Tweet plus Oud Wood plus what completes the three fragrance combo? Ooh. Ooh. You know, I think in this combination, I would go for Millisim Imperial. Right. I would say, yeah, I like that. You know what? Millicent Imperial mm -hmm. or Silver Mountain Water because he's in the mountains. Like I he's actually, in, I right? you know, I told him that uh, Silver Mountain Water, it smells like a ski resort. Right? Like that's kind of the feeling it invokes <laughs> uh, when I smell it, like a ski resort. And uh, he said, he, I texted it to him and he said, uh-huh, okay. And then he went to try <laughs> He went to try them out. <laughs> and he texted no me back saying, you know, when, when you said those things, I thought you were full of shit. <laughs> when I tried them on, it made sense. <laughs> it cracked me up so much. <laughs> you know what else could be really good here? Baccarat Rouge 540. Because they're all different. Green Irish Tweets are green. Wood, wood is your woodsy smoky, and uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 could be kind of sweet, sweet fragrance. Well, can't you just get the Marley? Perfumes the Marley. Layton? Parfums the Marley. Because you, just, oh, you just swap the Layton. tweed. Yeah, you just swap the tweed with the Ventus, right? Yes. The, yeah, yeah, Parfum the Marley. The Layton could be a great option here because it's a blue fragrance as well. That's good, good choice, good choice. The, actually, you know what? Yeah, Layton's Baccarat good. Baccarat Rouge and Leighton, they are kind of similar. 
in that sweetness, that vanilla kind of sweetness. So they're they're not too far apart. But whereas Bacara Rouge goes towards like a, a amber, uh, the kind of amber smell, the Leighton goes towards blue kind of vanilla smell. So they're similar, but they're different. Okay, sorry, sorry for that. Uh, thank you guys for the super chats. Holy fuck! Cap going back Cap to the going back to the question about the cheetah, I picked up my cheetah for two and a half US. So they do drop. That's Jesus. right. This is why don't don't buy these tutors. These they're beautiful tutors. Okay, they're beautiful. But they're way overhyped right now. You buy Panda Chrono right now, you will lose money. It's guaranteed. Once the, the printer kicks in. That, that, that's pretty cheap, right? Yeah, that's nothing. Oh, what is my, the... my shooter? Shooter. How much you paid How for it? That? Retail. Retail. So retail then price. that means you retail lost. Price. You lost. No. 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 Oh, that's... So Danger. You know Danger what? Is asking about I Dolce think... and Gabbana the one. I love it. Dolce and Gabbana the one. Uh, oh well, well, Captain has one and wears it all the time. It's a great evening fragrance. All the you time. Say? Evening. Um, it's or... evening, and they, here's the thing: it's not super powerful. Yes. So, you know, some people don't like it because they wish it lasted longer. Yeah. Uh, for me, for me, that's okay because when we were going into the office. You know, I didn't want to like be too overwhelming. So if you get four hours out of it or four to six, I'm okay. I was okay with that. Um, I I love it. It's a classic Dolce and Gabbana. The one um, you could put it up there with uh, a lot of the other. Uh, oh, classic sense. But you know what? Anywhere. Anywhere. You know what? You have to I make ran out sure, of guys. You have to make sure you get the oh. one or the parfum. Yes. Okay. That's where a lot of people go wrong, is they get just the basic the one. The it costs a little bit more, but it's well worth it. Okay, let me show you. Yeah. Okay, so the one, because there is now the regular the one, it it's sold in pharmacies, it's sold everywhere, and it's not as good. So you want to get the one that's in this bottle, that starts out clear. And then goes black. That's the auto parfum. Uh, you don't want to get the auto toilet because the auto. This is really weak. Uh, and would you believe it? The new the, uh, there's new. You know, what, you the know what the name is called? Toilet because it's like toilet water. <laughs> <laughs> and there's new one actually, the parfum. And you know what's interesting? The parfum version less less than auto parfum. So is that the eau de parfum? Is there is there an eau de parfum and a parfum? There is. A, I'll show you. Actually, I'll bring okay. it up. Because I, I want to make sure I get the right one. Because, you know, when you're buying off some of these sites, if you're not buying it at, uh, you know, Sephora or something like that, you still could get like the wrong the one. Yeah, so you see like this one right here? This is the eau de toilette. Okay. See how the bottle is fully clear? Eau de toilette yeah. water? That's yeah, fight. That's other... that, that bottle's fight. Yeah, yeah, this is bad, really bad. Stay away from from that one. Ooh. Then let's see if they have auto perform. Then you you Ooh. then there's this one. This is mine. This is the order parfum. You see that? EDP. Okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then there is the one parfum, which is stronger again. Ah. No, but surprisingly, it lasts less than order parfum. This one right here. It projects stronger. It projects stronger. Oh, right. Okay. So I have the right one then. I have the middle one like you, Tim. I don't have yeah. that bottle. Yeah. I don't have the power foam. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Because they charge more for it. Look at that. You, 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 yeah. you almost fucked that up. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> There's also this not one. Quite. This, this is really interesting. When There's one, the Mysterious Night. This is. Uh, uh, Arabic? Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's like a limited edition, limited edition take <laughs> on. Now, I'm I'm oh, usually I'm not a big fan of these uh, kind of uh, Eastern fr uh, fragrances because they're so they're so different. Man, it, they blow your mind. They they don't smell anything like French fragrances. 
but you know i am and also they're very expensive but uh expensive i do have yeah i do have amouage i have i have a reflection man like amouage amazing stuff amazing stuff let me show you Amouage, they have some of the most amazing. So this is the one I have, the Reflection Man. Oh, I heard about this thing. Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, I, just uh, it. I wouldn't mind selling it. Mm, That's it, a, it, what do they call those, Tim? You're talking about the artisan or yes, uh, yes, artisan craftsmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh the, man. The the smell is really really specific. It's it's very it's very interesting. It's like you know what this one reminds me the order uh this this reflection man smells a lot like H twenty four, but crafted like almost like what if they like if a, a, a artisan made H twenty four because this is just this is kind of like mass produced for the masses. Beautiful mass appeal. Mass appeal, where, where all the edges are kind of uh, buffed out. Whereas that one, it's uh, you're you're making a statement. You're, I think, actually, MGT has it. MGT, where is Reflection Man, guys? So next time you see MGT, ask him how's the Reflection Man going. Oh right, are we gonna are we gonna actually see him? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. We'll see him, but see in him, the no. chat, you see. You see... <laughs> You see him in the chat. You say, "Hey, how's the how's that, how's the reflection?" MJT will remain a mystery wrapped in a riddle. Well, yeah. uh, apparently he, he comes to Darwin and said he's gonna come and see me. Max Xenix, cool. shut up, Tim. Let Captain <laughs> talk. Watch. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Captain. Sorry, I interrupted. This, this you. really isn't okay. This this isn't really much about watches, but it's yeah. just. It's just, like it's just breaking news. So I wanted, uh, yeah. you know, I know GMT and Marco and Tommy are interested in this topic. So I just wanted them to all know that uh, for the record, I did some research. Like Frank Frank Muller or Frank mm. Mueller ah. is not is not dead. I repeat, <gasps> Frank Muller is <laughs> not <laughs> dead. What? He's not uh, dead. But one second, one second. But he but he did have he did go on a cocaine and alcohol and <laughs> food <laughs> bender. Okay, he's right, and and he hasn't been heard from since. And I think that was about ten or fifteen years ago. So, so Frank, Just making sure, I Frank, sure. We, we we're waiting for you. Uh, you can come on the show and defend your watches. Uh, Marco is here. We're all here to uh, support your rehab. But uh, but are you sure he's not dead? Stay well. I, I think you get asked. Or he's the specialist in these matters. Oh boy! <laughs> can Ari come on so we can discuss this, please? Yes, and and uh, that's our episode of Dead or Alive tonight. <laughs> he is alive, wow. but kind of, but his, but his brand is dead. Wow. Yeah. Well, he was away. The <laughs> brand died. That's what happened. But you know what? It explains a lot, doesn't it? When someone yeah. vanishes, and under those circumstances, and I yes. found that out from our friend from last night, our German friend, friend from our friend from Germany. Oh, really? Such a wonderful yeah, person. Like, he is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Glad Tim, this guy knows everything. Oh, about By the That's way, crazy. he taught me how to pronounce glass glassuta. Right. It's glass shooter. Glass so, hooter. Isn't it glass hooter? Yes. Glass hooter. That's the way he says it. Tim glass hooter. It. It's annoying, but he says Langenzen. it. It's Langenzen. Isn't it Langenzen? Yeah. yeah Langenzen. No, wait, don't you pronounce Zunen? Yeah, Langenzen. Yeah, so something. Yeah, like, yeah. Glass hooter. Like freaking out. How, how many times can you Burberry say glass hooter? Tim, Birmingham needs to get that on the soundboard. Just glass hooter. Hooter. Glass hooter. 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 And it's like a turn well, into an owl and fly left, away. We, 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 were, we were talking for hours with him yesterday when you left him. He's got so much knowledge, man. He blew us away. Seriously. Yeah, he's, a, he's an incredible guy. Glass shitter. <laughs> glass glass shitter. <laughs> what? What is that glass shitter? That's what Taylor oh, Moore just it. commented. Mm. That's uh, I think uh, oh, what was his uh, what was his uh, name in the? By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a debate with him on blank pan, uh, the those radio Hodinki editions. Oh, the German guy. Um, yeah, with the German guy, yeah. 
He, he's in the Discord under Boots. You know, not Boots. What the Bond hell? Bond's Toys. Bond's Toys. Yeah. yeah. His name was Jonathan something. He was a character from Magnum P.I. The third, something like that. Jonathan and, Higgins? And Jonathan yeah, Bottoms? The reason, the reason Jonathan why he Higgins to... Bottoms or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The reason why he calls himself Bond Toys is because he loves Bond as well. Mm, yes. The Bond, James he, Bond. He's a big Langa, big Langa fan. He, Marco and he are going to debate some. Huh? Glass Hoot. Oh, yeah. Marco, Marco, you'll have an awesome debate with him, man. Honestly, guys, I think I'm coming around too long. I think that you know what, fight uh, is good. Answer. It is what it is. <laughs> he took it. <laughs> you can't. You can't change history, guys. It is what it is. Yes, that is I'm, I'm, I'm where the revelation come from. He'll be happy. He'll be happy to hear that. I was talking with a, a viewer, and he has this is the best longer in my opinion. He has the I don't know what it's called. I think it's the datamatic, but it's got that three quarter micro order that you can actually see the movement. Those are the ones you get from long. By the way. And it's got the the zero second reset, which is the best. That's the that's the most useful complication. I think every watch should have that if it could, where the second hand just resets to zero. Yeah. Isn't that useful? That's the most useful complication there is. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, Toyama, when is the debate, Tim? Well, you know what? I think it's gonna be very, very soon. Uh, he he want uh, he wanted to do it yesterday. At like twelve thirty a.m., I told him. There was nobody. I told him, hey, you know, it's a little bit too late. Let's do it tomorrow. And then I went to sleep at four a.m. God damn! <laughs> I would have went to sleep early if I had a debate with him. But then today, I told him, like, uh, you know, I'm not feeling too well um, because of the COVID vaccine. I mean, and it's already already. The, I was supposed to end the show twenty seven minutes ago. So right when the waiting? captain came on, <laughs> but my, uh, yeah. my, my story had to be told. Yeah, had to break. And, break. and you know so what? You I, still not, I, still, I still don't believe that he's alive. It's you'll have to ask Gary. I we'll have to you. find him. Yeah. It's like uh, you know Frank Mueller. Maybe you know you know Frank Mueller. He might be uh, the Yeti. He might be the Yeti. Nobody know. Mm -hmm. Nobody's mm -hmm. seen mm -hmm. him. There's mm -hmm. images. Like yeah. only blurry images of him somewhere on the beach. <laughs> he is kind of off the radar. Bourbon right? heart in the chat. Bourbon heart in the chat. Bourbon heart, you're killing me, Hopefully man. Hopefully, you got that glass hooter sound. Glass hooter. Original. Glass hooter. <laughs> hoo, hoo. <laughs> Jesus. Does that make your your manly parts shrivel just a little bit when you do that? Oh my god. Let's keep this Friday night going. My god. Glass hoot. By the way, guys, I'm drop, pissed. Drop the link. David SW has the exact VC history 1942 I want up for sale right now, guys. Look at this. Let me show the screen. Go buy it. Just buy it. <laughs> just buy it. There's no money to buy it with. <laughs> Sell your son and buy it. Sell your son and buy it. It's the exact oh, one. Come on. But the problem is, guys. Okay, yeah. Let's not get there. Right? <laughs> <You know, laughs> AMC. Not that. I think you're is, gonna. Is, I think you're gonna get it? a longer man. You're gonna go right for the big guns. <gasps> yeah, man. Oh, cheap. Oh, what? Is, what? Warranty is Marco. November 2015. Marco. Or 2018. Marco, Marco, if you okay. sell the sub, you can buy this, no? Yeah, almost. I could probably cover the difference. And you can how about you email well, them? You email oh, them. But I have a Ming to pay for too. Oh, forget it, guys. Sad no, that's question. Next year. You're gonna get the job. Come You're on, gonna no, get that's, the that's, job. Yeah, that's, 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 that's down the road. Oh, it's true. It's true. Uh, I'll lend you the rest of the money. Come on, do it. <laughs> I gotta tell you, what a price. Is this thing in good condition? Oh, it's no David papers. SW. But the no problem papers. is this is November 2018. Uh oh. Hello, Burby card. And there's no papers. It's it doesn't matter. You're not, you're not getting that Ming till next year, Marco. Yeah, but yeah, it's because I got, you got, you got, 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 got the papers. papers is that open back. You, you, that's the paper. Don't forget your, your birthday yeah, coming around. Tim, the problem is there's no warranty. If that thing doesn't work, I need to get it repaired or serviced. I'm fine, Tim. How am I going to pay this service oh. bill of a VC? It's like a thousand, two thousand minimum. Uh, we can do yeah, a fundraiser yeah, on the yeah, street. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Your birthday's yeah, gonna. Yeah, sure. You're gonna have. We'll do a fundraiser. Come on. 
you're trying to convince yourself out of it. That's what we'll do a like super convince. chat fundraiser, Marco. I, I do it if if it breaks, it's not it's not a problem. You're it's great content. Tim, you can't expect that from people. I yeah, I know we shouldn't expect. You're dying, but you know you don't. But you know what? I'd love to help you out, bro. You, Tim, yeah. Tim said you know. Or sorry, Toyota Mo said he had a fifty nine sixty. I want to see what the price is. Not this, not this. 57.11 white dial. Oh my goodness. Ooh. No, it doesn't have 59.60. Where's the 59.60? 103,000 uh -oh. US for a fucking Nautilus? Unbelievable. Wow. 59.60 is not a Nautilus. Uh oh, here we go. Jonathan Quayley. Wait, wait. What's a 59.60? Gigan. It's a flyback. Hello, sir. Oh, I thought it was the new. Uh, I thought it was the new that new one, the blue dial. Oh, that's the 59.90. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, what a moron! You don't have all the all the reference numbers memorized yet, Marco. Guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Get on that uh, amateur hour moment. Get on that. I just say, what's that one lot. with that funky dial and the uh, GMT function? And Marco's like 50. I'm like, yep, that's the one. <laughs> you got to have the numbers on the tip of your uh, tongue. We got this. I want to go. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tom. I was going to say they have the white one and a blue one, but this looks. I think this is the one Toyota has. Some some people call Marco the watch cardinal. Or I've it's also favorite. Heard of, it's I've favorite. Also, yeah. I've also heard him refer to oh, as the, the rain man the of the watch world. What about <laughs> AC4? AC4? I'm trying to make that one stick. AC4? Um, so. we're, going to, we're going to Vegas, and we're going to play some uh, some blackjack, Marco. Why, why are everybody going to That's incredible. Oh, Tim, can you imagine three-piece combo, Bruce Wayne, Pam, and DC? You'd be done. I could be done. Yeah, I'm done. done after that. That's it. I don't need it anymore. Leave me alone. Watch what are you doing? Just Who do it. What are you doing? I'm, I'm pursuing a brain dead finance job, guys. I'm pursuing a brain dead finance job. You know, Mark, this is a really watch. good watch to wear at a to a finance firm. Vashon, Marco, classy. Go ahead, John. Marco, can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. You won't be done with that Vacheron, I told you. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning from Germany. This is Jonathan Quell Higgins from Germany, and it's uh, almost five o'clock in the morning, and my wife is annoyed as hell that, that I'm coming up. It's nice to have you on. Hey, Amen. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Higgins the third. How are you going, Thank you very Jonathan? Bon toys, whatever you like to be called. Hello, what, whatever you like. <laughs> my, my wife doesn't know I'm on here yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I just call you JQH? It'll probably be easier. JQH. Burping hot. Can you tell me how you do that? Um. Well, she'll she'll discover it eventually. She she's gonna come into she's gonna come into uh, Command Central and be like, "Wait, you're on another watch call? What the hell?" <laughs> like, ah, I'm sorry. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the the minute that she starts uh, chatting against me here. So mm. we will see. Yes, well, it's, it's good for the show. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, how is everybody doing, Tim? How how are you after your shot? Oh, actually, you know, I I didn't feel so great. Uh, I'm still kind of uh, a little bit woozy. Um, mm -hmm. uh, not a hundred percent, but you know, I am kind of going with the flow. Not debating. Yeah, not debating, just trying to stay away the best, avoid the debates, right? Dodging them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the end of the As socialists face. usually do, you know, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> as we do. <laughs> yeah, as, uh, as we do, yeah. Uh, no, but uh, I do, I do want to schedule. Now, I don't know how long we're going to, we're going to go on for. Uh, we need to wrap this thing up. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I Tim. Jonathan just got on. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna. I thought you'd be asking Jonathan about what his uh, overall tax burden is and what kind of a uh, public health care system they got. Yes. Oh, yes. no, no, no that, that's man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that another time. Yeah, we, um, he, he has, he he wants has some good, you know, good watch knowledge that he could share. We don't maybe, need to hear his views on health care. Bring this up, blank pot, blank.
Now, so so I'll I'll bring up the watch, and you said there's three of them. Um, there are three Hodinky editions of the Blanc Power Fifty Five. Okay, so oh, we're talking about the mil spec. I love that yeah. mil spec. Oh, that's yeah. the one. Me too, but Tim hated it, so, so that, oh, that's why. I'll say that's why, why I, I hate it. I'll, I'll, I'll. That's the, we'll do those it. ones and the other one that Cars and Chrono has is amazing. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, I have that one as well with with a with a humidity indicator. Yeah. Now, do you have the right, new the one no or radium, do you have the right, original? The no radium. That's the one. <laughs> that <laughs> that is, that radium free dial. Right. That is actually the second one that I have. Uh, they they made oh, the third oh. one with that no radiation sign. Yeah, that that is the third one. Now let me ask you: Is that the triple barrel and sequence movement? It's like a hundred twenty hour power reserve. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> okay, because I know I know they do it for some blonde pants where it's triple barrel in sequence. Yeah, and it's a hundred twenty hour power reserve. Absolutely nuts stuff. That mm. that's a really good watch, guys. Blanc Toyota Mo. Two dollars super chat. What's the correct way of saying <laughs> glass shooter? Glass hooter. You know, Tim, you have your unique name to pronounce pronounce it, but it's not glass shooter. Um, it's a. <laughs> my wife, my wife is the cracking. Family, man. The dog is. My, my wife is cracking up when when he's pronouncing it like that. So yeah, we all so know it's glass sweet. <laughs> No, no, it's, it's glass shooter actually. Glass shooter. Oh, it's not glass shitter, as some people said. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Somebody was saying that it. How it, how, how respected is a glass shoot uh, in in Germany itself? In like, glass shooter. In glass. You mean glass shooter or you know the, the watch glass brand? Yeah. Glass yeah. Shooter. So, so they are they are quite popular. Um, um, you know, um, you know a little bit uh, the story with the German splitting after World War II, and Glashütte remained um, a watch hub. Let's say it like that. Uh, but they produced mass produced watches which were which were inferior in quality. Oh, um, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Okay. All right, yeah, um, yeah. No, but um, I mean, but but German Jonathan, definition of a shitter is completely different. Like 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 United no. States, like it would be considered hard horology, but in Germany it would be considered a shitter. Uh, well, no, no, no. It, if, I I would I would like to to say it like that, but uh, actually, Tim, you know how communism works. So if you're Tim um, doesn't, Tim doesn't. He has no idea. <laughs> So, <laughs> according to Tim, it's just never been tried right. It's just yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, under under a communist regime, yeah. they they produced watches and they were inferior uh, in inferior. So yeah. um, uh, everything started after the German reunification, and uh, there were actually three main companies um, that uh, um, um, went up uh, quickly. That was Glashütte or, uh, or uh, Original. That's mm -hmm. um, the proper pronunciation, oh, which was no. owned actually by a, by a German uh, watch retailer back then. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, Lange and Söhne, uh, Lange. which uh, which is a Phoenix brand, Marco. I know that, um, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't see it like that because uh, Lange and Söhne has such a long tradition of making incredible yeah, watch uh, pocket watches. Söhne or Söhne? Söhne. Söhne. And, and also, Jonathan, they were just unfortunate. They were on the wrong side of the wall, right? <laughs> uh, on the wrong? Uh, you you mean in World War Two or? Right, right, right. Well, they were just in the actually, wrong country. They were in the wrong yeah, country. Yeah. No, no. Actually, actually, Marco, uh, I and I did. I slightly disagree with your take uh, on that because, in my opinion, okay, Germany lost World War Two. Uh, that's correct. But every. Uh, when when you go into war, um, companies are asked, or it's it's their um, it's their mission to no to to continue pro uh, producing what they do, and additionally, uh, perhaps producing things that they don't do. Look at Ford; they started to, uh, uh, to produce planes. So, of course, Lange and Söhne, as a, as a German brand, um, they. Uh, they had to to do what they always did, produce watches. 
So I, 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 I don't see so much wrong on it. Um, and uh, uh, no matter where they, uh, uh, what, what you think uh, politically, um, you're just continuing your, your production. It's like a d uh, defense production act. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, well, like companies can, uh, like government can force companies to produce stuff for them. Well, they, they can. Right? Then. Huh? War, I think the War Powers Act. I, I think they are actually able to. But anyways, I mean, I think, I think, like, I yeah, think, yeah, like, yeah. United States president yeah, can yeah, say yeah. companies yeah. have to make masks. You know, we, we're we're in the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he can force companies to produce masks. They, they can <laughs> retrofit like manufacturers to make bombs, right? For example, mm -hmm. if yeah. we were in a and war. Okay. Additionally, uh, these companies probably, I, I don't know that that part of the history of Lange and Söhne, but probably they, they felt uh, like it's a national duty, duty to, to continue uh, to, uh, to produce watches for, uh, for fighter planes. So um, nobody knows how, how the war ends at that time. So um, hey, hey, Koch brothers yeah. went to, uh, you know, build a, yeah. a refinery for Koch brothers, <laughs> right? That's how yeah. that's how their well not not the brothers but their father made their first millions by setting up refineries for Hitler. So I think it's a well known fact. So even like even other countries. Anyway, Tim, let's get back to the blonde pants, <laughs> the blonde pants. Yeah. So the black paint, the blank paint. So now now I I'll, I'll I'll say my credit. Now do you have the originals or the Houdinki? <laughs> Uh, homages. I'm too poor to, to have the originals, and they're yeah, very the rare. Originals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tim, huh? These don't just readily sell on Corona 24. You realize that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's, that's my beater. Just the uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a hundred thousand. Lucky you, mil spec, long pen, you hey. know what I mean? hey, I'm just asking. It's, I'm just no, asking. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm I Five just have the watch up his ass. <laughs> I only have the the reproduction, of course, and yeah. just because I I like that uh, the story and the history of of these uh -huh. fifty fathoms, and in my opinion, uh -huh. the one with uh, on the left uh, on on your screen is yeah. is just nicely looking, and actually it has uh, um, a couple of quirks and details which are quite interesting, um, that we hopefully will discuss uh, at a later point of time. Sure, sure. So yeah. um, I mean, but um, uh, Tim, um, yeah. I haven't finished with the German watch brands because uh, oh, sure, I would sure. like to, I would like to defend another shitter. Uh, sure. Whoa, that's Germany. beautiful! Oh, Look, I oh, can oh, oh, so oh, 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 like, oh. please help and, yourself. And I know that uh, that Marco uh, has called them shitters nomos. a couple of please times. Nomos. Oh. Defend nomos. Yes, it is nomos. This is great. Yeah. Oh, nomos is like a movie. Nomos is great. Nomos. I just give him a heart. No. Yeah, let's let's clear that up, Marco. Marco, yeah. you guys, know, he's retracting. Can I just say, <laughs> just, can just I just say Marco, you have you can explain. Yeah, explain. Yeah. Guys, I call a lot of stuff shitters, but it's purely for mm -hmm. the entertainment purposes, guys. No, guys, if Philip Duf, I've always said this. I'm not going to be the guy to contradict the master watchmakers. Okay, Philip Dufour was probably one of the best watchmakers in the world. Said I was asked, "What's one of the best watch brands under ten thousand dollars?" And without hesitating, he said. Nomos, okay? So that just goes to show you how good that brand is. You know what I mean? If it's a shitter, I don't agree with Archie that it's mid-tier garbage. I think it's excellent. Excellent. I'm going to disagree the, with Philip before. Well well said. So let's, Actually, I, let, let's hear I the agree authentic that. German take on it, though. <laughs> Watch well, to the other side. No, they suck. I can, <laughs> I can give you a, a personal take on that. Um, Go ahead. Because... Back then, in 1990, uh, I don't know when, when whether uh, the reunification was around the two uh, around the 90s. I think it was 1998. So uh, yeah, hold then, on, one second, one second. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to interrupt you. Toyota Mo, five dollars super chat. Jonathan, I I apologize for asking how to pronounce Glas Hute. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim, me up this, I swear. <laughs> That was the best one I've heard. <laughs> Tim, Tim, nobody, nobody does it better than you, but it's glass hood. Oh, and also, Jonathan, you know Nomos? I think it's the head of their development. You know the company Langenheim? Marco Lang yes. from Langenheim? Yeah. Right. So the Hein 
the hind side, he left after the first movement they created together. And now yeah. he's head of watch development at Nomos also, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yep. If I, so, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, they they make amazing I, watches. Actually, they make amazing uh, watches for for an incredible watch uh, price point. Um, the the Neomatic movement it's an incredible piece of engineering, and for a price that you can't beat, you you don't find these kind of watches uh, uh, from the uh, the Swiss competition in that uh, in that quality and uh, with with those features. Um, when when Nomos introduced that uh, neomatic uh, movement, they made an incredible uh, sales brochure uh, compare, um, um, comparing German crackers with Swiss cheese. Basically, they they compared the German-made automatic movement with Swiss mm -hmm. movement, and it and it was hilariously funny how they did. Um, I hope that I find it. Maybe I can uh, I can give you some some goodies. Yeah, Germans are not known for their sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. But but uh, to to defend us, the Swiss aren't either. Yeah, exactly. no, no. <laughs> They're very serious, you know. Very serious, traditional. <laughs> Stuck in their ways, some would say. Stuck in their ways. No, but, okay. but Marco, let let me uh, let me uh, give my my personal experience with uh, with Nomos. Um, so so back then, when reunification in Germany started, uh, I was working at a watch retailer, and uh, I'm not I'm not in the the watch trade now for twenty years. So um, so I'm what, what I'm saying is not a sales pitch for any particular you don't got brand. Skin in the game. Oh, you're, you're not working for no. Nomos. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. But back then, uh, I had a customer who was uh, asking for Nomos watch. And mm. back then, infrastructure in Eastern Germany was totally horrible. I remember we couldn't even do a, um, a telephone call to, to the former Eastern part mm -hmm. uh, unless you had these fancy mobile phones, which were wearable suitcases with, with a telephone um, uh, attached on it. Mm. So I tried to reach out to, to Nomos, uh, just asking um, if uh, if they were able to sell me a watch. Oh. And um, at the phone line was the boss of Nomos back then, Mr. Schwertner. Actually, he, he was from Düsseldorf, West Germany, and uh, he invested in, in East Germany to, to build up this Nomos uh, watch production. And we had a very friendly and very, very long talk. Actually, he's an advertisement guy. And I thought he was totally crazy. He was telling me, yes, uh, we, we are now using um, uh, PUW PU, uh, movements, uh, but soon we will have our own movements and uh, we will have our own production and so on and so on. And I thought mm -hmm. that guy is totally nuts to, um, to, to, to project that. Uh, where, where does he come up with all the money and the ideas and the knowledge yeah. and the technology? And yeah, uh, then... 25 years later, no, 20 years later, he has that amazing neomatic movement. And uh, I can see what, what he was talking uh, 25 years ago became totally true. And I find it amazing. Hmm. So, so Nomos, Nomos yeah. sprang up in the, in the part of East Germany after the yeah. wall came down? Yes, they are still uh, they are, uh, The production is still in in um, in former East Germany, okay. and uh, I think they have a, an office or a design office or something like that in in Berlin. Cool. Mm -hmm. So don't as, uh, underestimate uh, um, Nomus in particular uh, with uh, their their new automatic movement. It's incredible. It's it's fantastic. I mean, I don't doubt it that it's uh, it's pretty good because especially I, I had a I had like a convo with uh, with the guy with the guy who's uh, with like my AD uh, about Panerize, and he was telling me that like Panerize, they rushed their movements. Here's a false equivalency coming. Yeah, and ahead. then basically they they wanted to make these movements that they because because of the in-house craze. And they created a lot of these garbage movements. So my hope is that these, uh, maybe, I mean, I don't know how good these things are. I'm not a watchmaker. But look, they look pretty compact. I'm not a big fan of the design. 
of the norm the dials the dials i'm not a big fan of the design of the dials but the, the movements they look like very compact something that uh like paddock makes like very similar to, to paddock small, very small for the case that, that yeah. that's not a good look yeah <laughs> that's that's actually, add, actually that's, that's not a good look um, the neomatic movement looks much nicer. That, that's one right, of, of the, the of the older yeah. cases. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, Tin, seriously, you can't compare them to Patek and uh, I'll give them. Yeah, the... They're not close. I know. No, 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 no. I mean, look for for the money, they look pretty good. like pa Patek's movements. I'm saying Patek movements. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't. I don't even think they're not at all, Tim. Because this is three quarter technology bridge. wise. You think they're inferior to Patek movements? Of course. Are you kidding, Tim? It's not a, listen, you think there's alpha caliber? No, good watch. Let's not get crazy here. Let's not get crazy here. <laughs> okay, like, I mean, maybe finishing no is, is worse, but I don't think like this is Tim, that much has worse. The very, some of the very yeah. best watchmakers working for us. Yeah, but if, if you compare it to, to the price that they're asking, it's outstanding what, what they are able to produce. Right, but that wasn't oh, the relatives. question. We're not talking about value for money. Yeah, We're talking yeah about it's, it's apples and oranges. It's apples right. and oranges. However, yeah. Okay. Just the way they look, I don't know. They're, it just, they, just I don't, don't find like them Bauhaus appealing. Design. Yeah, you don't like yeah. Bauhaus design. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that, that's a tradition of Bauhaus design, and you like right. it or or not. Um, yeah. I'm I'm not liking most of their designs, to be honest. Yeah. But I totally appreciate um, uh, what what they're doing and and what they did. And it's a very popular watch brand here. Actually, yeah. it's it's one of the. Um, the very important um, um, uh, brands for the German uh, retailers. If you don't have Rolex, you need to to, uh, to uh, watch out for alternatives. Nomos is quite uh, pretty open to uh, to supply you if you if you buy a certain amount of uh, watches, and so they are very important for the watch trade here in Germany. Oh, just real quick. Oh, by the way, uh, you are wrong, Tim. The Seiko you were crapping on heavily on yesterday was worn by actual Japanese explorer uh, Naomi Umera, who fought a polar bear. Why was he fighting a polar bear? Can you guys stop making noise? For, Get out. for the fun of it. So what am I gonna do? So, so, so what? Is she... So okay, then what? What am I? What? But do you have to yell? Do, do German women treat you, you like this, Jonathan? You guys are making noise. This... I cannot. Ah! Actually, I'm, I, I, I'm feel, married. I feel a smack coming. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be good for ratings. <laughs> Tim, I think I think German women are, are good at yelling, um, and and in my opinion, uh, women are good at yelling, no matter which nationality. Oh, no. <laughs> Well said. <laughs> Blow up the room like it's just so so much noise. You know okay. what's funny on this nomad? By the way, Tim, I'm, I'm noticing... Totemo said, yeah. to "Hold on, just to go yeah, back to the yeah. store." Okay. Totemo said he shot the bear. That's not good enough. I was expecting him to rear naked Fish choke the bear. <laughs> well, yeah, he <laughs> should have fired the bear. Come on, guys, what is that? No. If he's not wrestling him the with bear the bare hands, did he see him? DDT him. Right. Look, exactly. I was expecting yeah. some kind of suplex, like he picked him <laughs> yeah, up and yeah. dropped him on his head. Come I gotta on. say, the bear's about to eat him, and he shoves right. his wrist and his and his Seiko like down Rips the bear's throat, out. suffocates right. him. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone can shoot a, a bear apple. with a gun. Hey, hey! I can shoot a bear with a gun. It's no easy. It's a, It's no like easy. It's not difficult. Ooh, Toyota Mo said he disappeared in Alaska, so maybe the bear homies got their revenge. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, he wasn't wearing the a thousand three hundred dollar version. He was wearing a three hundred dollar version of that watch. Actually, okay. I find that psycho amazing, Tim. But it's for th I Is wasn't crapping really? on the design. I was saying that the price is too much. Though. Yeah, it's a bit they expensive. They want too much. Which because they're but selling but what, Versace watches for four hundred at at a and those watches have better quality than these new a thousand three hundred dollar watch. Which, uh, have you had it in hands? No, but but Jonathan, man, I, come on, I've let's call it a spade. By the way, they're trying to capitalize on marketing. I mean, come on, I the Seiko turtles sell all day for dude, like three four hundred bucks Marco, two years ago. You know, I had those uh, Street Fighter uh, Seikos in hand. For they they go for like three hundred dollars. They're garbage. They're absolute. The quality was expecting? so poor. I was shocked. 
Birmingham's going to pop a blood vessel. <laughs> Seiko, no. you guys got to like Seiko. Which Why model are we talking about? Birmingham Birmingham better stand Seiko. up. You know man. the Street Fighter. This, this is a Birmingham. Street Fight right here. Yeah, that's a that's a three hundred dollar watch though. Right, Tim. You can't expect right. a Rolex quality. I know, but like there. Hey, that's the one. Oh, Irving Hart. Brother that's in mind. No, 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 no. I I love Grand Seikos. Yeah, that's a really good choice. That is. I think oh, this is what, what Grand yeah. Seiko excels nice. because the what you have is an amazing dial, amazing hands. You get a nice case. And the quartz shared a movement. And that's the perfect combination. That's what was great. It's, 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 it's only accurate to like 10 seconds a year, you know? That's yeah. It. Yeah. I, I have not, I've owned this for, I think, like three months now. Ooh. Yeah. I haven't lost a second. Like, I haven't had to adjust yeah. it at all. Like, the exactly. thermal, the thermal regulated quartz movement that they use is like unbelievable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what Seiko is best at, at those quartz movements, not automatic no, movements. No, 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 <laughs> They're still yelling. You realize it? That I, they're still yelling. What? What? <laughs> I hope that she's <laughs> yelling more at you oh, when you're God. bashing on, on the drums. Oh, you're going to oh, get a nice oh, 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 One team's distracted, Jonathan. You can money? start oh, jumping oh, in. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> distraction to your advantage. Tell us about those great <laughs> movements. What would I say about that? Fuck me, Dad! <laughs> what? What? Okay, okay, okay. Are we all good? I don't know. She's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna, <laughs> maybe, maybe the captain uh, needs to step into... Uh, Sorry, they're uh, so distracting. Yeah, okay. You guys can't hear them, right? The microphones shouldn't be picking up stuff. That's, mm. that's like... Farther than this. Can you stay? Can you yeah. hear me from here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, still. Oh, okay. oh we, yeah. We can. We can get little bits of her yelling at at you. I don't know what she's oh, yeah. saying, but she doesn't yeah. sound happy, Tim. Something just yeah. flew across the back of your studio. Look at the back, back, man. You should be <laughs> wearing really a helmet. Your your head. Head. I'm concerned because they're talking to me and it's distracting. All right. What do we got? What is that? What is that? Skeleton. It's a watch box. One second. It's all, oh, no. it's all Whoa! Somebody oh. got doxxed. Thank you so yeah, much. Hold on. No, no, no. We couldn't see anything. Yeah, you're going to see it in a second. No, there we go. Cool. I can't it looks like shining it. watches. It looks like flashlights. Yeah. Why is it so shiny? Hold on. Is that a flashlight? <laughs> you, you need to upgrade your, you like your camera. Send, send it to me by email. Send it to me by email. It'll email. be easier. Right. Ooh. What I use for the loom. This is for Hold the on. loom. I'll show you okay. his two piece combo Hunga Busta, Paddock, and Longa. Look at this. Uh, oh, yes. Well, that's my man. Oh, wow. Who is that? Wow, sir. Let me see if I can pull it back up. Who is this Hold legend? On. Amazing. Dermo, it's all good. That's just Tim's opinion. He doesn't like it, so be it. There you go, Tim. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. I'm Look at that box. Right. That's a winner's box. Ah, yes. Look at that. There's the blank pine. By the way, I should yeah, say that's good the blank pine. Yes. It's that Grand Seiko at Ooh. the bottom. It's fucking shiny as hell. Yeah, and oh, does he have a Bulgari? Yeah, yeah. it's the Octo Skeleton. Yeah, but wow. I haven't seen the Grand Seiko yet. And he has the yet. same Grand Seiko GMT as Birmingham. Who is this? Who is this? Oh, it's a viewer. Wow. Mohammed, Mohammed in the chat. He just. Oh. So Marco, as as you are now exploring the very high horology, uh, do you know what the, what an MAS is? MAS. It's Seiko's the sixty two MAS. No. MAS. Is it an acronym for something? I, I'm not sure. Yes. Uh, no, I'm not. I, I, I can't answer that. No. Tim, do you want to wait for a super chat until I? M A S. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do. Let's do a quick. Uh, let's do a, two bucks. Two bucks. Uh, J C. I love burping hearts. Wait, what is M A S? Just give us yeah. a, a cliffhanger. Yeah, give us a teaser because M A S is so broad. It it's, could be like I don't know. There is a model number with. A yeah, yeah, there is a model uh, model uh, with MAS, but that's not what I'm meaning. Um, uh, MAS in, in Seiko is uh, something very special. Hmm. So it's for Seiko specifically? Don't Google it, Marco. 
Look, I don't Google it. Hey. I, 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 I want to Google it now. I, I want to know it. what it is. Don't Google it. Get it. Pick it for your hands. Don't, we have to You're see cheating. your hands. <laughs> Marco, that's cheating. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm fine. I'll close it. I love Bourbon Hard's Grand Seiko GMT. It's on my radar for a future purpose. Yeah, it's it's actually a great little kind of like like think about it. Why buy a, a Seiko for a thousand three hundred if you can for twice you can get what Bourbon Hard got like a, like incredible quality. Why? Wait, how much was that watch? A Bourbon Hard? Uh, Twenty two hundred bucks. You have to have fucking rocks in your mind, not in your head, in your mind. That's what I paid for my close to what I paid for my Chiba. Exactly. Why would anyone pay a thousand through like it's just a thousand more? And you can actually get an amazing watch. Seiko should be three hundred dollars. That's it. End of story. That's my opinion. And even Toyota Mo says five thousand dollars for Seiko. Fuck me that exactly. And these fucking mother efforts, you know what they're doing? They keep pushing, they keep pushing the price of the shit of Seikos up and up and up. What what what? Shoot, shoot. Mom is waiting. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with Tim on this, guys. I actually agree with Tim on this. Like, Seiko Ooh. should, like, especially when they're using their, their very entry-level movements and watches, they should not be anywhere near the $1,000 range. So, you know what? I here's don't know. Here's the thing. Uh, so, Bourbon Hard uh, and Marco, that GMT, so now they have the, the Hodinkee version of the, um, the GMT with the high beat movement, right? The 28,800 or whatever it is. Yep. Beats per uh, mm -hmm. minute. Mm -hmm. oh, I got that right. Per hour, um, per hour. Per hour, per hour. <laughs> but we knew what, we, what you meant. No. We knew so what you meant. We knew. Is that worth it, Birmingham? Because I like the look of that watch. So but which, I, I'm trying to think. Which they're one, like $6,800. You didn't realize. For the um, auto. My mom gave me twenty dollars super chat, okay, so you can, you can tell movement. the story. Okay, twenty dollars right, super chat, guys, from my mom. Here we go. So, Captain, um, the the Hodinki um, edition that we were talking about yesterday—that's uh, the one with the blue dial, correct? Yes. So that is not high beat. I thought I saw one on uh, Chrono Twenty Four. That yeah, there's high no beat. high beat GMT as far as I know. Okay. But there is, no, sorry, but no, there spring, is. Drive, there, spring drive, there is. spring drive. No, there right, is also automatic. high beat. There's also high beat, but um, that that looks differently. Automatic? Okay. Yes. There's a high beat and there's also an edible beat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll but, take uh, the edibles for 1,000. But there is no yeah, high beat. Down. There is no high beat or hodinky. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mixed that up. I mixed that up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, is this your collection? Wait. No, no, it's a viewer who sent it to me. What? Viewer. Wait. This is, a, this is a picture I was oh. showing earlier. Is this Muhammad? Muhammad, Muhammad. Ah. Oh, wow. The guy you oh, saw in the fragrance collection. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very nice collection. Congratulations. Incredible. Oh, this is, guys, this is just a part of it. He has probably one of oh, the my. nasty, like the most I'm crazy I'm going to show you looking at this. Yeah. I, I, I got to be honest, he definitely gives Cars and Corona a run for his money. <laughs> I'm not even joking, Tim. I'm not kidding. Wow. Right. right. But can you okay, forward, so forward this to me? Yeah, sure, I can. Yeah, because... Let uh, me get his I, approval first, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he also has these, Tim. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just oh. pull these up. He also has this trio. Yeah. That's an LM1. Oh. oh. What the heck is that? <laughs> then he has Urwork. I don't know what the Urwork is. No, 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 not, not, not correct. The spelling is not correct, Marco. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a What's Swiss. It, it's a Swiss company, but uh, it's a German name, and it's called Urwerk. Urwerk. Okay. Okay. Urwerk. Uh, you learn something new every day. Yeah. I'll just call I haven't it heard that on the. Uh, on yeah, the it just sounds like you're vomiting at the. End. I'll call it where work just because it's easier. Yeah, and, uh, and because and everyone calls it work on the internet. Sounds like you're doing a burp to me. Nobody says er, what, what, however you pronounce that one. Er work? Of course. That's why everybody calls yeah. it. Yeah. No, no, that's what I'm saying. The, what how, what Jonathan was pronouncing okay. it, I've yeah. never heard before. Yeah, but that's the proper way. <laughs> right. I'm sure it is. Okay. But. okay. So, 
um, so Marco, coming back to MAS, or do you want to yes, uh, discuss? Yes. No, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, tell me. MI MAS is Micro Artist Studio, ah. which is, and okay. these are elite. These are elite watchmakers from Seiko. I think there are ten of them. They are highly qualified. They are friends. No, 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 no. They are friends with Philippe Dufour, by the way. Philippe Dufour um, supported them. I like the marketing on this one. Okay, here we go. No, it's not marketing. It's true. Uh, okay. Philippe Dufour went to Japan. They uh, they visited him, and oh, hold they on. You're not being just net, they're Jonathan. Networking. They're Jonathan networking. One second. Yeah. No, Tim, that's not true. You know what it is? Japanese are the entire client base of Philip Dufour. That's where he started and where he sells all of his watches pretty much. Mm, Let's be honest here. Let's be honest, but continue sure. your story. No, but uh, but there is a the, there is a cooperation between Philip Dufour and uh, the right. Micro Artist Studio in, uh, at Seiko. He's done cooperations with a lot of watchmakers. Daniel yeah, Roth, but, uh, but this is... This Google is not only a cooperation to, to shell out sales. He was really supporting them. Um, because he likes what what uh, they do, and actually, um, if you if you listen to an interview from uh, Philippe Dufour, he said, unfortunately, the best finished movements come from Japan, and he was not talking mm -hmm. about Grand Seiko or Seiko. He was talking about the Micro Artist Studio. Interesting. Cat, I'm sending it to you, Tim. He just told, just uh, keep it private, obviously, because oh, he doesn't want. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, Tim. Be, By the way, if he wants to join the Discord, <laughs> oh, I just sent it to you. Yeah. By the way, if he wants to join our Discord, you can send him the link. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I can talk to him. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, you, if you guys want to see some marketing bullshit, let me show you something. Are you guys ready for some bullshit? So, type one if you're ready for some marketing bullshit. Because I, I, I love watching some bullshit. This is gonna be this Absolutely. is gonna be really funny. So I got it on my computer, but I'm one. The first guys, the first shitter brand has contacted me. They want to collaborate. <laughs> they want me to spruik shitters. Are you guys Quality. ready? <laughs> Do, it. Do it. Squally. 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 <laughs> Squally. Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is by, by the way. This is going to be surprising because I didn't know what kind of, what would be the first one. Who's going to be the first to want to do a collaboration? Collaboration. Are uh, you ready? No, it's not undone. It's not undone. It's close. It's, it's, it's worse in some ways. Maybe, I don't know. Vincero. Is it Vincero? Vincero? No. Vincero. Oh, they're like, they're high they're level. Yeah. Check Philippe this out. Philippe already. Philippe already. Daniel we Wellington. Go. It's called Happy Watch. <laughs> Happy Watch. <laughs> The Which art of mine? fashion, guys. How much are they paying, Tim? That's all They're... that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these things. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Tim, oh, I already know how to, how to market these. This is, listen, it's Constantin Chiyakin without the high horology, okay? <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> Uh, can, Marco, please, uh, without please, any just... actual horology to back it up. No, no, please Marco, leave that please. picture open with, with these uh, fancy watches. I have a perfect name for them. What is it? Burbing Heart knows it. This is the Stay of the Weed watch, isn't it? Stay <laughs> of the Weed. <laughs> this is a psychedelics watch. Let me show you. When the, when the I like to show like a different version of the Monica. Stay, Stay just... off the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show Tim, you something, guys. So you what they did. The food dog? The food dog? You, you know what they did? People that <laughs> oh. You're going to sink your future opportunities. You can't be telling people you're doing partnerships or being offered. I don't think you know, so. Not a good you know, Tim started to, uh, to, no, to do no, political... No, no, look, I'll explain something. I'll explain something. So see, the, the, the way they did this is they have two quartz movement. One movement on the left that shows you hours. <laughs> yeah. And the other movement on the, on the right that shows you minutes. So it's independently. You set the hour and minutes hands independently. Tim, two this would be oh, a perfect replacement to the Hello Kitty watch. What do you think, Tim? I that's what I'm thinking. But you know Look what? I'm it, thinking? baby. How much are they paying? Tim, start negotiating. They're not paying anything. They just said they'll. They, they said if I'm interested in to email me back. They said they oh, will send me a free one. No. They'll no, send no. me a freebie, $2, and I'll give it away to my members. Your, your retainer is two thousand dollars. Retainer. No, I'll give, I'll give it away for free. 
guys, don't if sell somebody, yourself sure. What do you think, guys? We, we, I'll do like a, I'll do like a lotto. You know, we can just so, do everyone who wants I'll to. Have one. I'll, I'll, I'll go in and just so I can smash it on live TV. Here's, here's, <laughs> the, here's, here's the problem. Here's here's the here's the catch twenty two, right? Yeah. So it's like um, like Bark and Jack. Yeah. You're gonna get it. Yeah. They're gonna expect you to to do a pretty good review. On it? I mean, I'll just I'll just say things like, "Look, it looks like chai, like a quartz chicken." Right, it's exactly it's, what I thought. It's, it's, a, a, it's a kind of I think yeah. you know what I think it's a cool ki- uh, watch for kids. It's not a serious watch. Uh, I look for kids. Think about it. This is pretty cute. Tim is already but, getting but the, the dollar cute, sign. Already yeah, already getting the cute, dollar sign. A cute watch you for kids the- for two hundred bucks. Yeah, you know, you know, if they markup. slimmed down, if they made the case, there's no one in hill. I'm buying my this size. could be this could okay. This could be anyone with a bulldog, right? There's so yeah, this, many of those. Let's be honest, this watch is a dog. Ow, ow, <laughs> ow. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Mr. DMT, don't, don't you have a meat grinder where you can put that in and make a video? <laughs> hey, what's I can organize what, what one, not a problem. What, what are the specs? Is it is it a sapphire crystal? Uh, let's Does it have like right a here. It's sapphire, a cool yeah. Japanese so horse movement. Two year. Oh yeah, it is sapphire crystal. Three sixteen. Wow, that's not Ming. bad. It's yeah. a Ming. <laughs> oh shoot. Yeah, that's surprise. It's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> yeah, you know. Look, it's a look, Ming. Look, I'll take it. I'll make a quick, quick, dirty video about it that I'm giving it away. I'll just say. I'll be honest. Look, the op- like my option is to take it and give it away, or not take it and don't do anything. I figure Tim. I'll rather take it than uh, yeah, you know. just take it. Just take it, Tim. But I mean, I don't want it for myself. Uh, like if if sure. someone, guys, if the viewers, are you guys interested in a raffle for this watch? Would you enter a raffle? Type one if you would r- enter a raffle for this watch. Type two if you're I not would, interested. I'll, I'll go in. Right? Like, I... hey, if you <laughs> what do you think, Mark? Bull- would you, you enter a, a raffle? Tim, respectfully. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell you know, no. You know, Tim started these political discussions. Now he's uh, spruiking this kind of watches. He's clearly <laughs> running his channel to the ground. Money, <laughs> money changes. The affiliate links. So I can give it as a Christmas present. Tim, you have to perfect, avoid these guys. Perfect for my 11-year-old daughter. Short cast. Right, there you go. Oh, for 11-year-old we'll daughter, I would give it to Heart. You know what? Bourbon Heart, I'll give it to you. Captain America. I'm not even good. Look, viewers are not interested. Paul Celestia said, no, no thanks. Uh, Small G2002 said, nope. Tiny Stacker said, nope, not interested. Bourbon Heart, I'll give it to you. Give it to your daughter. Oh, that, you got be- to cool. do the review first. Yeah, I'll make a vid. I'll make a vid. But so you no, can't post then, the review. I'll, I'll do a review on it. I'll give I'll give a real positive review. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can make a review as well. There you, go. you know, my, my daughter, the only watch she has is a, um, it's actually a Zodiac. That I got at oh, a thrift shop for fifteen bucks has like a mother of pearl dial. Wow! Like, I mean, it's it's a quartz one, but who cares? What what do you think? Which one should I ask for? If if I can ask, what's the most feminine one? Um, <laughs> what, uh, the corgi. Yeah, the, uh, I would say the owl. The owl. It's a symbol of wisdom too. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yeah. The owl, and it's got owl? pink on it. Yeah. But it looks a little bit serious, doesn't it? Oh, you see the well, owl. it's Burbing Heart. Burbing Heart is going to take if it's going to his dog. It's 33 mil or 30 or 41. <laughs> Burbing Heart, which one did you like? Go back to. her size. What's the, oh, you know, no, no, for your, uh, for, for your religion though, the one in the lower left looks the best for you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here, the gold one. <laughs> was it, is that a, the golden calf? Is that a uh, the golden bull? <laughs> yes, yes. It's the golden fleece, right? It's it the sacrifice, like the, the lamb, the la- the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> yes, we're paying our respect to the horological <laughs> oh, God. Says, how much are they offering, Tim? They're not. They're just offering, I think, a free watch. If I make a review of it, I don't know. Maybe they'll give me a couple. I don't know. Uh, I'm just, I just, I'm just feeling like it's either I don't, I take it or I don't take it. I feel like if I take it, I can give it away to my friends. Uh, if I don't yeah. take it, it's like money away. 
Oh, Where do you have to review it, though? On the, you have to oh, put it on my YouTube, yeah. yeah. And actually, you know what? People who are Googling Happy Watch, I can say like, oh, they're making a, a, chai, a, a take on the Chai King's watch, right? I can introduce people to what, uh, what what's he called? Constantine Chaikin. Yeah, I can I can talk about Constant Chaikin a little bit more <laughs> uh, and say like, look, this is just a, kind of a cheap version, two quartz movements. Yeah, definitely, Tim. Uh, it shouldn't ex it shouldn't upset anybody in the watch world that you're comparing an absolute shitter to something that actually has more logical value. You know, maybe you could go well, like Russian the, people. You know how it is in Russia. The live channel, Tim. Not right. not this channel. <laughs> right, uh, Tim Run Live. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. I'm just giving it, to the it one, away. I mean, I'm not yeah, set up a channel that just broadcasts in like uh, Russian, Russia. You know, actually, <laughs> I, I was Get thinking out of know, here. But but guys, like this brand is completely unknown. So if people are googling it, they will they might land on my channel, and they <sighs> might like, comment, and subscribe. You know, we can bring in people. Uh, to we can actually say because think about it. You know who's looking for these watches? People Nobody. who are on the <laughs> wrong track. People who are lost in their chronological the ways. We can convert them. They can join. <laughs> Tim is right. the greatest the Shane doctor I've ever seen. One, Tim. Look at this. To clean their souls, they must here. travel to Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Instagram, Tim. Look at these old people wearing these watches. They, they have an Instagram? <laughs> oh, Tim's wife. Look at Tim's wife. Oh, she's coming <laughs> after. These people are like older than me, like 30s and stuff. What the hell? On Instagram? Yeah. I can see, I can see right, right. wearing these. Oh, Tommy, old, old old Tommy. Tommy I, I'm pretty old, are you? So, yeah. But maybe uh, they're, 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 they're trying to be I, happy I, I, I in, their, in their the final day. Can people can people be happy in their final day? Ten point two k followers. What the hell? <laughs> These people. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's what I'm saying. I can bring in some of uh, some viewers. Is this the old no, guy? Tim, their view, their, no, their their all these people are terrible. Yeah, these are bought for followers. Hundred percent. They definitely <laughs> paid for their fault. Look at the interactions. Ooh, Dude, my image seven. Is yeah. My images, I have 200 followers, Tim. My images get more viewer interaction. Than yeah, I know. They're, these are both followers. He looks about 22 years old. That's what I'm saying. These look, are for like five years old. bad on him. Wow. What people are willing to do for free watch watches, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe maybe the last week to take a picture of me wearing a watch like the that. mustache. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at the couple. <laughs> yeah, this this is way too That's like. Ridiculous. Okay, guys, just calm We're down. We're both wearing them. Oh yeah, this they is got one on each wrist. Oh my god. Yeah, I like I like the kid with the iguan. Is that iguan? I don't know what that is, but that <laughs> that is that's a cool picture. This one's okay. This kind of looks like JC's hand actually. <laughs> if JC is in the in the chat, he knows what I'm talking. About. All these all these paid actors and actresses and or yeah. Instagram models are looking at their wrists like influencers. What the they're called influencers. What what the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> they don't know. They're, they're lost. What am I these doing? Are on the wrong track. Yeah, they're like, why we am I not getting a Cartier or a Rolex? For God's sake, we need to <laughs> this convert. Is embarrassing. It, 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 look at their careers, man. I'm sad for these people. How can they pay? How can they afford to create this and pay people? To what is wear it? this? It's Happy Watch official. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Let's open up. Nobody like from the them uh, watches this channel. Look at the shark and the octopus. They're very cute. Now, if they called it weed. Oh, watch, is that Trump? It is. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Donnie. That is Donnie. It's called Donnie. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. Wait, I cannot make it bigger. It's it's look right there. It's Donnie. You see it? That's Trump orange face, yellow hair. Yes, <laughs> can you guys see it? Hold on, maybe they have a bigger bigger image of it. I can right see there. It. Right there. Right there. Oh my god, these images are horrible. Man, Instagram <laughs> is really bad. Guys, oh right there. Bam. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did I just like it? By <laughs> I'm sorry, let me take it away. Right there. 
Can you see it? That is just amazing. What? 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 Is that the one burping hard? My wife is trying to tell me something, but it's code. She just says my name. What? What does it mean? Yeah. You have to choose. What do I have to choose? You can leave your chat with your screen. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Choose me or the uh -huh. watches, Tim. Uh -huh. Or, or what? What did I do? I'm getting a warning, guys. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What did I do? I didn't clean the house. Okay, I didn't clean the house. Why do you clean the house? Uh, okay. Uh huh. And are oh, you doing laundry? Yeah. I didn't know. And you're not doing anything. <laughs> I'm getting super <laughs> chats. Well, actually, there hasn't been any, so yeah, I am kind of. <laughs> well, I'm just. You have to choose. Uh huh. You have to make you leave by yourself. I'm fine. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I cannot. Well, I'm wrapping it up. Ten more minutes. Poor guy, Tim. He's getting grilled. <laughs> God, then I blame you. This is all your fault. <laughs> it was that Nomo story that put us no, over No, we're going to go. Top. We're going to do it. Ten exactly. Minutes, ten minutes. <laughs> that dragged on. You got to keep it quick. You got to like huh? do it in bites, Jonathan. You got to prepare oh, next you time. Did? Yep. Yeah. Index cards. I'm rating poison. Cliff notes. You can talk about Lana now if you want. Oh wait, is this yeah, a yeah, Donald Trump? Uh, no, Frank Muller. Yes. Yeah. See the see the oh, replies. Really click on there? click on click on the replies for that comment. See when they're when they're available. This was forty three weeks ago. Hi, yeah, thanks they for say? your interest. Why can't watch the movie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, this was forty three weeks ago. It's out. I think this is sold out. These are limited. They're going over retail right now. Limited. Going <laughs> over retail. <laughs> I fucking love Tim. Tim is the great dude. Tim, you ever heard of the whip? The whip in politics, where they need to whip up votes. You know, in the Senate yeah. and in the House. Yes. Tim, you would make for the greatest whip in history. You could fucking yeah. spin anything. I'm telling you, you are fucking incredible at spinning shit. Oh, that is amazing. Ebay. Super Tim, chat. Come on. Super chat. No one's buying these shitters. Dude, on, right there. This one goes. Somebody's selling it for 300 Oh, my God. No bids. Oh, well, yeah. No of one, course, no go bids. on the sold. Let's get that one. Has 17 sold. watchers. What has been sold, Tim? Guys. Oh, Steve B. $5 super chat. Bailing Tim out. There we go. Thank Steve, you. Steve, thank you so much. <laughs> that means a lot, man. You know, it's just. It's you know it's hard it's hard guys, wife is on my back. Uh, I got the COVID shot and I don't know why people are just trying to stress me out. Like, makes no sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that me. tomorrow. I'm getting no, my got... first one tomorrow. Ooh, good luck, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to pee to having glow in the dark pee, guys. Looking forward to it. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, just just remember that from this point on. Uh, no, no, I'm saying, you know, I got the vaccine shot, right? I'm just really sensitive in it. I got a vaccine. I was so fucking sick. Yeah, and I left you alone. I didn't say anything, right? Tell her you're what sad. You Tim. Tell her you're sad. You're making me, she's making you sad. Depressed. Right. No, I did. I did check. I went to check if you were still alive. I did. The stream will tell you, like, I did. When I was doing stream, I did go there to make sure. I should die. <laughs> no, you did not. I wanted to see everything. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god, so funny. But yeah, but <laughs> look, these images are pretty. Oh, look at this. That's inside. Oh, <clears throat> you see that? I'm not very impressed, Tim. Let's be honest with wow. you. That's a world class movement. finished movement right there. Right. <laughs> it, it's actually not the worst I've seen. It's obviously just plastic, right? Just plastic. I don't know. But look, it's not the worst brand to collaborate with, right? <laughs> Name me one that's worse. <laughs> no, undone. Undone, no? Undone, undone is worse. definitely No, movement. I don't know anything about undone. Oh, look at this. What they showed movement their movement is actually process. wearable, too. Look at the craftsmanship, guys. That Tim, goes they even into... wore the, the the rubber condoms on their fingers to <laughs> show that they actually care. Oh, my god! Dude, look at this factory. Look at the process. They're pushing something with, uh, with the lever. You see the lever here? Oh, they actually 
they stamp eyes into the what? That's pretty crazy. To to achieve 3D cameo effect, the complex textures on the yeah complex guys, it's really complex. Each dial is hand polished and assembled from numerous individually produced metal parts by seasons seasoned watchmakers. Damn. Wow. Guys, look I gotta say, that. uh, look, I'll, I'll I'll take it and give it to Burbinghardt's daughter. Burbinghardt looks happy. Right. I think that's <laughs> the way to do it. He's thrilled. I'm not, I'm, oh I'm, yeah. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't count my watches before they land. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> let's let's yeah. see if they reply to my email because I emailed them like, yeah, what's the what's the situation? Let me know. So I did haven't you, heard. Did from you them give them a? Did you give them a link to your show? Uh, no, they found me. Uh, I don't know how. Because because maybe they're watching this show, then your free watch is off. I don't think they're <laughs> watching this. Come on, nobody's watching this. Who would watch <laughs> it two hours? Only Good maniacs. <laughs> we haven't gotten a comment defending it yet. So we should be yeah, okay. Yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> Look. Happy Look, the oh, yeah, yeah. says, "Happy watches, pay me." No, no, no. I think they, the they, comment up above. Uh, <laughs> I think. Did you, wow, these happy watches are great. They are they are disrupting the watch. <laughs> <laughs> they cut out the middle, man. <laughs> they source the best materials for all over China to get us the best price possible. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Thank you, Toyota. Oh, that was so good. They're, they're gonna Those put are, you yeah, the, their photos of influencers, Tim. Hmm. It's a, a, a dollar per movement. Yeah, I think that's, I think it probably cost them maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. Ten dollars to make them. And they're selling them for two hundred. That's yeah. great margins. Yeah, and then they give away like hundreds of them. Uh, so, Tim, if they make one sale. From a regular customer, it justifies their twelve giveaways. Yeah, right. I think so. Yeah, one sale justifies. It tw yeah, if they give if they give away twenty pieces. Tim, this isn't a ten man operation. Sell it's one, one yeah. person just turning these things out. What do you think? Mm. This is? <laughs> Look, I think uh, if someone gave me a thousand dollars, I'll take a pic wearing that watch. I'm for oh sale. <laughs> you know, we made a video about these watches. You, you know, Case Back watches the German guy. <laughs> oh, <not laughs> he did it eight guy. months ago, going crazy with hippie watch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the German guy? Hold on, he's a cool he has, guy. He has like sunglasses, <laughs> or sorry, he wears glasses, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. His name's Tim. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, Other Tim. Him. He Happy made a good watches. review of the Archie Luxury Channel a while back. <laughs> His thumbnail says better than Rolex. <laughs> Tell them, tell them to sell you throw the Rolex in the thumbnail, you know. That's yes. for, for clicks. Send, That's send for the Trump views. one, too. Yep, send the Trump one. Yeah, you want I think, it to be out of discontinuation. Yeah. I think if I could get like three, I would take one Trump one just for the viewers to give it to one big Trump fan. Then one for, I don't know, someone, and then one for, you know, one, two, just. I don't know to smash. I don't know. No, nah, I don't want to smash. <laughs> but somebody can wear them. Uh, They're paying you good money. You can't wear smash anything. Them live on air. I, you know what? I would give it away in the city for free. And then one to Birmingham. Birmingham is cool. He's been with me. Give it to your wife to calm her down. Oh yeah, that was cool. reaction. His wife, reaction. His wife wears like a Rolex. Like she's not. <laughs> yeah, but hey, guys. Thank you for sticking through with me for the show. Tap by the way, the teeth, sorry we didn't man. get what is what? Jonathan. It's gonna pump up the limb. Jonathan Quayley, sorry we didn't get to the debate on the blank ponds. I think we'll save hey, what it. What was the, the next debate? Show. What we're gonna talk about? He's gonna defend the the blank pens. I'm gonna attack it. Oh, I'm with I'm with Jonathan on this one, Tim. Sorry, you're on yeah. your own. What hey, about Frank Mueller, Marco? Would hey, you I'm always on the opposite against? side. <laughs> Frank Mueller? Yeah. Frank I got to tell you guys. Oh, I'm jump in. Wait, wait, wait. Before we play the music. Mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan, what do you have to say about Frank Mueller? What was that story you told us about his watchmaking? Uh, yes. I, let's, let's, let's hear it. 
Is he there? Uh, what do you mean about his watchmaking? Like, what ah, yeah. Really think about well, well Fra uh, Frank Miller, actually, uh, Marco, do you know how he started? No. Cutting out the so middleman? Fra Frank Miller, no, no. <laughs> well, th th that's what he did as well. But um, he started uh, um, as a graduate. Uh, he was a top, top, he top a graduate. School. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Making school. Then he started with Rolex. He right. restored many of the vintage pieces from the Rolex um, uh, museum, including Breguet watches. And um, I'm not sure if... pieces use that, that Lemania based movement that uh, Paddock used to use. Yeah. There's, there's some gems. Yeah, there's some gems in Frank Mueller. I will the, not deny that. Yeah. There are many gems. And he made, he made a prototype of a some, perpetual some. calendar of the day date. <laughs> You know Lots that? of gems. There are a few, a few. A no, 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 no. He actually he, he, know, he knew exactly what he was doing, and and he, he was an amazing watchmaker. Then he created that uh, that uh, Curvex case, w w uh, which he's famous for. And then, in my opinion, he lost a little bit track. He had the wrong investors, and uh, he had some personal problems. And let's clarify that he went on a <laughs> we glossed over that an alcohol bender <laughs> that lasted for well, the we don't know how long. Years. He, hasn't been, still on from, it. he <laughs> hasn't been seen from since, but <laughs> Captain, we're looking Captain, for him. Captain, yes. you're a pro, yeah. you're, you're able to defend you uh, yourself pro bono. I'm a poor guy from a poor family, I can't afford saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumped in for you, no problem. <laughs> Thank you very and much. And this is all entertainment value anyway. Right, we, actually, all we actually have no idea if he's alive, dead, or otherwise. Right. Uh, we can't even corroborate. And he might he say. might be a, no, but, but a Marco, Christian minister for all we know. I'd never touched yeah. a drop of alcohol. But, Look at but Marco <laughs> <laughs> Marco, it's it's not that that he had just uh, two lucky shots. He um, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's this, a very skilled man. He used to be one. I'm, I have no idea if he still is because he's not uh, doing corporations. Um, but uh, I give Doc, them uh, the man Doc, a lot of respect. Let's be honest. He doesn't compare anywhere near Philip Dufour, anywhere near Kerry, anywhere near. Uh, Jorn or anywhere near these top guys, you know what I mean? I it, it depends Robert a little Purple, bit. Stephen Forsey, the, even the it depends a little bit how, no, 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 no. It, it depends a little bit how uh, uh, how you define that, but maybe we, we should take that to the Discord because I think Tim, uh, Tim is really in trouble if he doesn't. Yeah, let's do another show. Let's history. do another show, buddy. Tim, all righty, Tim. Roll well done, credit. well done, gentlemen. Well done. One second, one second, because I'm replying to uh, Muhammad. He sent me one hundred dollars super chat. Wow. To, oh, yeah, on the PayPal to kind of make make friends with my wife <laughs> and uh, for recommendations. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just replying to his message because he asked me what what do I recommend for flights. I'm not exactly sure what he means by flights, but like maybe a fragrance that one can use on the flight. Because Something not overbearing, exactly. Yeah. Because there's one fragrance that I recommend for those kind of situations where you don't want to like there are fragrances that smell like fragrances, and there is this thing, it's called Molecule 01. Let me show you Molecule 01. Let's see if it'll focus. It's just see through, it's yeah, because it's <laughs> yeah, see through. <laughs> this thing, it is. It's incredible what this is because it's a fully synthetic fragrance and it consists of only single note, single smell. And some people can't smell it. Some people can smell it. But if I had to describe what this smells like, it would be like a book. That's like amazing. Scent. What? Like a leather yeah. bound book? A nice musty book. Yeah. Like, like, like take a, a turn there. No, no, like a fresh, like a fresh from the oh, print. You get a, <laughs> I gotta rewind that because I missed it. I don't know what that was. Single note, they have a, a single ingredient. It, it, this this it, one's it, book. It smells like nothing, I thought. Stay <laughs> off the weed. <laughs> this one smells like Finnegan's wake. ISO E Super. Yes, I think. So I just got it. Right I'm going to start reading it. Give it a lizard like for us. Give it a lizard ISO, like ISO E too. Super is the note. I'm Give it a start. sniff and a lizard like. I swear. Dude, this. 
smells the almost, smells they're almost identical as a fresh, clean book. I don't know what it is. Ooh, it, it's was incredible. Like, it was on the top shelf. No, I just got it. I just got it. Amazon delivered it, by the way. <laughs> Lake Success by Gary. Success. Uh, that looks like a happy watch. That cover. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, ooh, the color. By the way. Oh, it's signed by the author. Whoa. What is it? <laughs> I can do that. Is that, that, is that a blanc? Me. Is that a Mont Blanc? Mont Blanc pen? No, no. It looks like it was by Thick. a marker. Really I got cool. a new I got a new pen coming in, Proving Hard. All right, let's I'm wrap this show up, Tim. I gotta step, I'm stepping up the pen. By the way, game. let me read the first sentence of this book, guys, so you so, so you can remember. Barry Cohn, a man with 2.4 billion dollars of assets, shoot, under un, under management budget, staggered into Port Authority bus terminal. Port Authority bus terminal is where I took the train to to do the hike, the infamous hike. Or where I was putting the camera over and over and over again. But anyways, I'm going to stop boring you guys. Uh, thank you, Mohammed, for the super chat. If it's not what I thought, if you didn't mean uh, a fragrance that I would take with me on the airplane, then just reply to my email and clarify, and I'll try to help you out. This thing is really cool, by the way, guys. It's expensive, too. It's like $70, you would think. For water, <laughs> yeah, it's just man, For guys. Ideas. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll we'll go to Discord, right? Sure. Tim, I gotta go to bed. Yep. All right, everybody else, I'll see you guys on the Discord. I'll be there for a couple of minutes. Bye, everybody. Welcome to the world, no heroes, villains. Welcome to the war, we've only begun. So pick up your weapon and face it. There's blood on the crown, go and take it. You get one shot to make it out alive. So higher and higher, you chase it. It's deep in your bones, go and take it. This is your moment. Now is your time, so prove yourself and Thank